<laughs> it's right here now. Yeah. Okay. Okay, yeah, maybe we could see through the dirt. Ryan's call sign should be yeah. Hawkeye. I know, yeah. that's amazing. That I'm not even wearing my glasses either. <laughs> <laughs> now you're just showing off. <laughs> sea spider. So do these spiders make those webs? I doubt it. Cameras are back. Those webs are ongoing mystery, I think. So you see it's proboscis, it's feeding appendage, sort of extended downward yeah. there. Highlights. Not much to its body, It's though, like a sea spider. No, yeah. It's just all leg. Carpus, whatever. Yeah, just legs sticking out. <laughs> Creepy. Oh, I... Yeah, how are you? Good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's a spider, an ocean spider, ocean yeah? Ocean spider. It's choking on the landings tonight. All right, next move. Bridge, this is not. Might have a little um, bit. Let's flat up hold off on the move for a minute. Let's find a rock. All right. Sorry, Bridge, hold position. You've got a little plateau off to the right, I think. Right. So yeah. maybe then it wouldn't have rolled downhill. Ooh, look, there's one that's broken off on that big rock. But maybe the big rock rolled down the hill. Yeah, you never know. <laughs> I was going to try, when we were going up that big El Capitan, I was going to look for something on the top of that, but I thought the cliff would still keep going. Yeah, it's a lot of... Uh, this is the stuff I'd say probably all rolled, rolled in place. Okay. Well, at waypoint three, we're going to have a little bit of a plateau. Um, so if you yeah, want that's to, that's miles away, though. That is true. Yeah. In the scheme of things, <laughs> we should hit that kind of like just before the end of our shift, I think. Yeah, maybe that can be the next sampling spot. Four. Yeah, like these. There's a sort of hard, like, uh, ledge. Yeah, we could break a piece of that crust off. That's yeah. for sure. Well, not for sure, but likely. But that's kind of flat stuff that you don't want to. Yeah, that's, that's kind of like the crusty stuff that's manganese. not so good. Yeah. We'll just keep looking. No, no worries. Yeah. Let's keep going up slope and something will jump out at us. For you folks at home, you guys didn't miss anything. I know the feed's come, kind of coming in and out, but thank you for, for holding in there with us. Big boulders over here to the left, maybe there's... I didn't even know the feeds were down, nobody had mentioned it. I mean, our... Yeah. Our... Our... Web page wasn't working for a, a little while also. Oh, uh, really? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we've been having some difficulty with our satellite uh, connectivity from the ship, so... Uh, we're, we apologize, we're troubleshooting that. Uh, we have... Um, active discussions with our service providers during the day and there's lots of email traffic on the subject so we know we've been dealing with this for 24 hours now or more. Um, mm -hmm. One of these doesn't look too bad. The you know, angular blocky ones that probably fell off this. How large is that? This one? That's too big, huh? Uh, yeah, it's probably eight inches, that one. You were circled. Um, how about one of these two? Works for me. Yeah. Maybe 
this one right there. I'm gonna come down just a few meters. Okay. I think we're all right. The ship's not moving. Oh, okay. I'm gonna look at the arm because I don't wanna bang it in. So I missed. Uh, which rock are we going for? Towards the vehicle. I kind of kind of liked this one. Oh. Got it. That's might be. Is that really small? It's hard for me to tell. Oh, sorry, Dan. Not loose, huh? Hmm. Hmm. Grab it, see if you can pry it out of there. Not budging. Wow. Anything loose around here? I'm going to go back into poking mode here. Circled the other big one, the two, the one next uh -huh. to it. Yeah, that looked loose. Uh, and you circle the that one there, Dwight. I forget now. Lost the plot. That one seems How about up here? Can you reach that? Yeah, let's go for it. Let's uh, come up the hill right there where Argus is about to hit the... Oh. How about just this one right Well, that's... I think we've probably right. got to move. Crusty. Uh, maybe. Or how about Here. this one right there? <laughs> You're all right right now. Yeah. Take off. Gonna oh, grab. Oh. If you need to leave, that's okay. We can find another one. Got one more chance. Oh god. I can't really see which one it is. That one. I think you got it. We'll yeah, and press observe it later. You can bring it up into the camera now. Sounds good. Kayaoli. Oops, sorry, wrong lever. <laughs> <laughs> you're uh, you're flying two vehicles at once. You do whatever you need to do, Dan. <laughs> um, pulling her up and coming up here. Good size. Pretty crusty looking, but that's okay. We'll keep it. Where's this one going? Starboard? Yes. Got A. Starboard A. They had a little trouble with the with the drawer earlier. There's a rock that's lodged really tightly. Oh yeah. Look at all these rocks we could pull out now that we've got one in our claw. I know. <laughs>
Well, that, that one of the back boxes, you think, or? I think A, right? Yeah, A. Will it fit in A? One way to find out. Sample number? Uh, 109. 109. Oh. I thought 109 was the push core. We went through the push core? We, we did collect a push core. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Sort of. <laughs> sort I mean, of. 110. <laughs> okay. Alleged push core. <laughs> we'll see when, we, there was when just it so comes many to the attempts surface. I, I forgot. All right. Thanks, Katachi, for yep. telling me. I think the best analogy for push cores I have is like trying to get something out of your backpack while it's still on your back. <laughs> All right. Ready for a move? Sure. All right. Bridge, this is now. You ready? Yeah, let's do it. Forty meters at three four zero. I'm down for a mid watch stretch here. Oh my gosh. You'll have to turn your volume up. I have to turn yours down. So. Yeah. Trevor left his mushrooms. Is uh, everyone taking a stretch break right now? Is that? I am. I was okay. I'm standing and stretching. Yes. You're good. I just wanted to make sure that my audio was actually working. Mm. Mic check. Check one two. Yep. You're not going to be able to stay on the wall. You're not going to be able to? No, if we're going 315. It's too far away. Unless you want to move the boat closer. No, it's okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. You want the boat closer to the vehicles? <coughs> Uh, no, no, it's okay. Okay. I'll we'll keep going, 315. So we'll Ryan. probably have to come back down. Yes. How do sea stars have babies? They, I believe they have sexual reproduction. And then where do they give birth? From like the we middle or like down, the come ends? Right down. I hope sea stars are broadcast partners, so they release their sperm into the water. Sorry Females release eggs. They meet in the water. Larvae. Is that how Carl does yeah. it too? Yeah, same thing. And then their larvae live sort of in the plankton, drifting around for a few months. 
settle on the seafloor. Mind blowing. I love it. Thank you. Hey, Ryan, is it true that even if corals are like not in the ocean in a fish tank or something, they still broadcast at the same time? Um, it depends which corals. Uh, you can sort of induce spawning in a lot of invertebrates. Some, some will do it as a stress response. Um, in deep sea corals, uh, I know it, at least for like some of the reef forming species, uh, the broadcast spawning has actually never been observed and they won't do it in the lab. And it's sort of a really big gap in our knowledge, really. Um, we only know about the reproduction from looking, just sampling them throughout the year and looking at uh, what stage their um, different reproductive cells are in as you sample them throughout the year. So you can get an idea of how their gametes form um, seasonally that way. Um, but yeah, broadcast spawning hasn't been seen in some in deep sea corals. on a, an anemone species as an undergraduate, and we um, made them spawn just by putting them in, it was an intertidal anemone, so not a deep sea one, but we made them spawn by just placing them out in the in seawater in the sun, basically. And that's how we studied some of their reproductive aspects. Wow. Asako has noted that there, a lot of corals will brood um, as well. And uh, so not all corals are broadcast spawners, but. What, what do you mean? What does brood mean? So um, one moment here. I'll get it. It happens within the polyp, yeah. So the um, the sperm and the egg are fertilized within the polyp, and then um, as the larvae sort of develop, um, they have a special type of larvae called a planulae, and those are released into the um, into the water column when they're sort of developed a little bit more. can also be budding, where a young coral sort of just grows out from an adult polyp. Mm. And then going back to sea stars, a sort of similar thing can happen. So um, there can be sort of fission, or an arm can be chopped off, and it could form a whole new animal. Oh my god. That is... Awesome. Bridge, this is not... Forty meters up bearing three four three, please. Sponge. No, yeah, yeah, can we get a quick zoom? Or a partial zoom? Looks like a bola zoma. Bola soma. It sounds like a dish. And whenever I hear it it makes me a little bit <laughs> bias. I, had, I turned it off because we're coming up the hill so fast. I Got it. Alright, well let's uh, keep 
walking up this hill. What's that? Yeah, can we take a look here? Maybe some sort of crusting organism there. Yeah, can we get a partial zoom? Oh yeah, it looks more like some of that gray demo sponge we've been seeing throughout this expedition. That's good, thank you. Great. Seriously, jacked up. Too many adjustments on it. Can we get a uh, partial zoom? A little bit more. Is that just some oh. old sponge? <laughs> yeah, it's like some debris probably. Yep. Alright, let's come back out. It's going to be a uh, cliff to your left there. See it in Argus? Were we, were we able to identify that? Was that just See a the 90 there in Argus? Yeah, yeah, just some debris. Oh, everything. that's my left. Mm. Should be able to get to that. I wonder if one of you guys could give us another rundown on, on um, military what we're left. doing here, where we're at, the dive H19, and a little bit about the seamount. Um, just yeah, for those who are just turning in now and want to hear a little bit of a, a little bit of an update. Sure, I can start and hand it off to Ryan. This is uh, Dwight Coleman. Uh, we are diving on, uh, I, you know, I never even got the pronunciation of the seamount down. Is it Loudoun? Is it Loudoun? I, mean, I don't know. I haven't, I haven't heard it out loud. We'll just Loudin. call it Loudoun. Sure. But uh, I'm not even... Do you guys have a suggestion about this name? L is it French? I feel like saying Loudoun. Loudoun, yeah. Yeah, it is a little French sounding. Loudoun. Uh, so we are on Loudoun seamount. Uh, we are on the southern... Uh, slope of, of the seamount. We started the dive at um, a depth of around 2,500 meters and we're rising up to a depth of about 1,500 meters. Right now we're at 2,048 meters, so we're a little less than halfway You'll through this come dive. Up, um, come up the hill. We're rising up a, along a very steep slope uh, to the top of this guillo. It's a very large uh, feature here in the uh, north central area of Papahanaumua Kuakea Marine National Monument, and um, this is the first time we've ever uh, dove an ROV on these seamounts, and so we're They're trying to characterize to the marine geology and the marine biology of this area, and uh, really just collect baseline exploration data to kind of help us understand these these uh, sort of precious uh, uh, habitat and. and geological features here in the monument. And so we'll be collecting some rock samples, we'll be uh, potentially collecting some animal samples uh, to help us better characterize this whole area that we're exploring. We'll and there's a bunch of different of scientists now, on board who have different um, scientific goals for what they're studying. And uh, our job is to dive these ROVs and support the, the science and the research that we're trying to oh, accomplish. Oh, wow. Look at this. But we haven't seen too many uh, diverse animals on this <laughs> cliff face, have we? Look at this. No. Wow. Really low density. 
Wow. That's Especially a great shot. in comparison to the past dives, like we've seen a lot of organisms, but um, this one's uh, not so much. No. Which is kind of cool. Like all the sea mountains, all these sea mounts have their own characteristics about them. Definitely. Although I will say we haven't seen a high density of organisms. We've seen a lot of interesting and unique things, things that I haven't seen at least. Uh, on come right in front of Argus there on the, that's where the cliff's sticking out. Gotcha. Oh, sorry, Atalanta. Are you coming up? Yeah. Yeah, I'm coming up. It's getting steep again. Yeah. Bridge, this is Nev. Okay, if you can get out in front of Atlanta a little bit, that'd be good. 10, 10 to 20 40 meters. 40 meters, uh, bearing 343, please. Seeing a few bamboo corals now in the last couple of minutes. Potentially a hint at maybe some higher coral density as we move up. If only we could keep it like this. That's Argus about just under 20 meters off the wall. You right in front. That's how we want to be going up the steep stuff. Sounds good. Can we get a uh, DVL reset? Is that part of? Yeah. Does that make sense here? No. Nope. Yeah. See nope, your never. DVL. See it going red, yellow, red, oh. yellow. Not yet. It doesn't work on the cliff. Got it. But I can reset it to the. Yeah, you can manually reset it, but it, just so the yellow thing is in the right place. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's just going to drift quickly. Yeah. You can go to uh, USBL, make the, but it bounces all around on the cliffs too, so you... Got it. Right, you use your uh, sonars and your compasses and your cameras to figure out where you are. Kotachi, how like deep or shallow are we right now? And then like how, where are we going to traverse to? Uh, we're about 2,000 meters right now. Mm -hmm. And then we're working our way up? Yeah, up. we're working our way up. I believe the shallowest. Uh, let me see. About 1,500, right? Yeah, I think so. Thank you. Ooh, changing rock. I mean, we've just ascended about 100 meters very quickly. Yeah. Yes, yeah, mm. so we're in a very similar depth range to some of the other dives. This reminds me of some of the training we did for paddling, where you would have to like run up and down these really steep hills and my legs would just be jello at the end. <laughs> Guess there's not a pitch and roll on. Did you ever find it? For Atalanta? A what? A pitch and roll for Atalanta. No, I couldn't find it. Oh, maybe I'm taking an Argus. There's a Walteria sponge there and also a uh, glass sponge, which I believe is Hylostylus. Type of euplectelid glass sponge. Wall terrier sponge. I 
I liken the wall terrier sponges to um, upenna. To be what? Upenna, which are um, like nets. Yeah. Mm. And then some upenna are also like, they're cylinder like, kind of like how we've been seeing these ones. Is that what, are they called upenna also? You know, the ones that are made out of ie ie? Um, mm, some are called um, hinai. Mm, yes, hinai. Yeah. Thank you. So then that that would be better described as like yeah. hinai huakai. Yeah, fish traps. Mm -hmm. I think it's interesting that you can sort of see all the way through them. Like the mesh on them is actually like so wide that you can actually like see straight through them in certain parts. It's pretty unique for glass sponges. Usually the tissue is pretty dense. Mm. And then, so this, um, the wall terrier sponge eats just like the other sponges where they pump water? Yeah, exactly. Do all sponges do that? Um, typically, yeah. Atalanta's feet is working amazing from our view from now, but um, there's a hemichorallium down there. Yeah. Do you guys think underwater climbing would ever be a sport? <laughs> I think that's called the diving. I wish. Like scuba tanks and then put some extra weights on you so you have to climb. Oh. <laughs> that, that's an interesting... Um, I think you should invent it. Yeah. <laughs> I think you just did invent it. Yeah, you do it, we'll watch with the ROV. <laughs> <laughs> Bring a lot of weight down and sort of drop weights <laughs> and as you make your way up. Yeah, you better be able to release those weights if you have a problem. That's the, uh... What is that little red thing there that we're looking at? Looks like a mushroom coral, probably. Mm. Hello, little mushroom coral. Yep. Can we get a uh, zoom here? Definitely think they're one of the more charismatic octocorals. Yeah. Charismatic octocoral. He's got the charisma. Cool. Thank you. Bridge, this is now. Forty meters at three three zero, please. For those of you who are interested in joining the team, you guys can go ahead and apply to be an intern um, with us. Um, I'm gonna change. Uh, I know there's some comments coming to in that three, are heading to three three zero. Are indicating good. they the really want to be a part of this. Yeah, experience. just stay in the box there. It'll be good. Mm. I highly encourage just just applying and seeing what goes from there. Um, there's no limit to what you can offer. Can we take a look at this coral here? Um, looks like a trident. Oh. Uh, get a partial zoom. I'll keep coming in. Okay, we can come in a 
Oh, interesting. This is uh, looks like a black coral to me, maybe. Yep. Are we able to go in any tighter than this? Thank you. Ah, very cool. Yeah, they have a very sort of characteristic um, pinule structure that comes off those main skeletal axes. And you can see they get their name black coral from the, the color of their skeletal oh, we axes. About a little bit ahead, too. Is that all right on the look? Yeah, thank you. Nice and close to Herc. Yeah, you might need to come up, Dan, because I've got to come up here a little bit. Yep, I'm chasing you. It's a nice shot, though. Ten meters away. Cool. Are your captures working on Sea Log? No, mine either. You see, you're getting them there. Yeah. Well, I was, no, I was just telling Paul if you want, if oh, it's okay. happening too fast, you can. Sorry, George. That no comment back. in the top, I think that's you. I don't Me? think that there's too no, many flowers and I. yet. No, no, as long as you're comfortable with the speed, but it's totally up to you if you want to slow Oh, down yeah, yeah, let's actually, let's, um. Are we able to take a look at this? Yeah. yeah. Working on it. Well, that's one of the ones that I ruined. It's going to have a little Another one of these. Let's uh, get a partial zoom here. Dandelo dandelion siphonophores. Siphonophore, that's what it was. Okay, let's uh, come in. More. Dandelion siphonophore. What are they related to, Ryan? Um, let me think for a second here. Sorry, I kind of bounced off the bottom there a little bit. There's been a bunch of these this recently. Yeah, so they're um, cnidarian, so the same phylum as like, jellyfish, corals, etc. And they're in the hydrozoa. So we've seen um, a few different types of hydrozoans throughout the dives. Um, we've seen a few, if you remember those small red predatory hydrozoans that were landing on corals and eating some of the polyps, we've seen some of those. Can you zoom it closer? You should be able to see like the little siphons on it. It's really cool. Yeah, these are colonial yeah. animals, so you should be able to see. So let's uh, zoom here. That's so cool. Beautiful shot, Paul. to get a closer view of that one. A uh, Portuguese man of war is a good example of a hydrozoan too. Oh. You want to uh, you want to go down to point two? Very scary. Yeah, let's <laughs> do it. Yeah. Let's uh, change the ship speed to point two, Katachi. Yep. Bridge this is Nev. It's getting uh, it's going to go vertical here, so you're going to have to come up quite rapidly now. Yep. Can we bring the ship speed down to 0 0.2 knots, please? Excellent. Let's hold position there for a minute, Katachi. And hold position, please. I'm going to 
to just come up. Yep. We could come up at a somewhat sedate speed where we're at at the moment. Okay. Um. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'm looking straight down, so you're right, right under us. Got it. So, oh wait, maybe I got a little more. Come on, get, get, tilt. That's all I got. No, oh, no, it went a little more. Now it's straight down. <laughs> Camera works really well on deck, and it but so it's erratic at depth. I can't figure out why. We need to build our own rotary actuator pole. Been saying that for years. <laughs> Now you can take your time. Randy gets right on the edge of his seat at that any sonar targets within that 20 meter range ring. <laughs> you said who, Rennie will? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, he's on edge. Yellow. I kind of do too. Can we uh, zoom in a little bit on this one? Yep, I'm just not looking at a crinoid here. Possibly a very little coral recruit over to the left there, too. I'm coming up slow all the time, so it's going to be hard to zoom. Great shot, thanks. Oh yeah, and there are those two little corals like you saw. Just a little faster, getting in the uh, Crunch. 10 meter ring with no, no relief in sight. We got caught out doing this uh, somewhere on the down south, and it was a big overhanging cliff. As <laughs> you're coming up, instead of the slope going away, it's sort of getting closer and closer. Oh, gosh. Like, oh, go back down, move the ship. <laughs> second if you want to zoom. Oh yeah, I was just kind of looking at how steep it is. It's steep. It is yeah. steep. Very steep. When we're just staring straight ahead, and if you're not actually uh, flying it, it, it can just kind of, you lose perspective. feels like a vertical wall. A vertical wall you're walking slowly towards. Yeah.
get just a little bit behind now. Couple, couple things on this little ledge that's good. That yellow thing on the that's top cool. there, is that a crinoid? It is, yeah. yeah. We've seen this same association a lot of this yellow crinoid on the Walteria sponge. I've seen some bubblegum corals and hemichorallium yes. on the right and up top here perhaps so maybe starting to see a little bit higher coral diversity almost at waypoint three that was our goal for this uh, watch yep. we're gonna exceed our goal oh yeah some extra credit stoked if we can get to four that's <laughs> definitely extra credit. So that's about creep. halfway through the dive. Ambitious. That's more than halfway through the dive. And we're halfway through the watch. I mean, uh, What is that? Yeah. Urchin? Or uh, anemone? I'm going with the latter. Let's uh, get a partial zoom here. Oh. Are we going to gather any rocks from this okay. area? Let's come back out. I'm going to keep coming up, but... You can uh, start walking to your left a little bit, too, on the way up. Wow. No, a few Walteria over here. Wow, that's a really long branching, what I feel like is a bamboo coral that reached up to the sky and now is a naked bamboo coral. Yeah. Can we uh, zoom in here? I'm surprised there's nothing climbing on it too. higher up in the current. We might come across one of those fatty little stars up above. A lot of brittle stars on these, right? Wow. Yeah, quite a few. Okay, it looks like uh, Atalantis up over the top there, so you can Take your time. time. Yeah. Okay. Well, oh do we yeah. want a closer look at those? Um, what do you mean by those? Sorry. The uh, these sponges or anything? Anything? Uh, if we could get a quick look at this whip here, just a partial zoom. I'm not sure if it's on which one again. Can you circle it? This one. Got it. Thanks. Okay, can we come in a little bit, Jeff? There's a really tiny lobster or a crab looking thing over there. Did you guys see it? It's like No. Kind of Left, on one of the uh, rocks. center almost. Near the lasers. 
You saw it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they're like really tiny squat lobsters that are white. Mm -hmm. Do we want more on this coral? I think we're okay, thanks. Okay. Do you um, tilt your camera up just a little bit? So that was a While you're on a the cliff coral. and you're not trying to look down the cliff, you don't Got have to it. get quite so close to get the zooms. In the family Primnoidae, rather than a lot of the uh, whips we've been fans seeing. Fans off to your left there on the cliff top. Just lateral left along the top there, you might find some more treasures. Candelabra, like bamboo coral over here. It's a surprise crow. <laughs> yeah, I think. We we only saw the one interesting red red um, that was a faceless chicken. Is that what we were calling it? The, the headless. The headless. Yeah, the <laughs> swimming sea cucumber. Yeah. <laughs> it was a sea cucumber. Isn't that a Don Knotts movie? So if, if you do um, 20 meters at 315, which is Atlantis heading at the moment. That'll Sponge. take it along the cliff top for a ways. You can see it goes yeah. for Fishy. maybe 20 meters there. Where is it? New York so you'll be able to oh, yeah. all the critters are at the top of the cliff here. Let's do it. Can we uh, get a zoom here as well? All right. Bridge, this is now. Twenty meters at three one five, please. Awesome shot, thank you. That coral looks I mean that sponge looks like a tulip. Yeah. That is a hyalostylus. Hyalostylus. an enemy. Oh yeah. Yeah, so diversity is definitely increasing. I wonder if there's any sounds at the bottom of the ocean here. It's the sound of Hercules, Hercules for water. sure. Yeah. <laughs> you know how when you're at like the coastal reefs you can hear all the, the clicking sounds? Mm -hmm. The snapping sounds? I wonder if they have any of those over here. Yep, there are people putting down hydrophones in uh, deep sea environments and seeing if that's a way to figure out um, the biodiversity of a region rather than uh, yeah. sort of more intensive sampling. Looks like we might have another slime star over here. Slime star. Slime star. Terrasteridae. A day. <laughs> <laughs> Slime star a day. Can we uh, get a partial zoom here? Are there common names for uh, like all the corals? Like I know we call a lot of things bubblegum coral or bamboo coral, but yeah, no. At the species level, there's I'm definitely not a common yeah. name for everything. I think we should give them common names. Yeah, that'd be a fun job. <laughs> Andrea, our geologist expedition earlier this year was really good at giving biology common names, and it mm -hmm. stuck through the whole expedition. <laughs> <laughs> we had a whole list of. Is that like one that we collected before? I think it's a different one. Um, 
but not one I recognize from the wish list or anything. Jeff oh, yeah, just changed my life. Thank you so much. Actually, we can just come along. See what else we find. Yeah, great. Thanks for that. We are currently on the southern end of this sea mountain ridge right now, yeah? We're yep. on the western fork. Um, hmm. I'm not sure how far south we are along that fork. Yeah, this is the, the farthest sea mount south on mm. the fork. Oh, really? Yep. Cool. Stuff to your left there, Paul. So we're on the end. The ones on the l right fork or eastern fork or mm. do go farther south. Mm. Roger. Wow, yeah. we're going to celebrate when we get to waypoint three. <laughs> oh, look, it's one of those sea anemones that are yellow, and when they're curled inside, they look like a caramelized apple. Starting to see more uh, <laughs> higher, some higher densities here. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. We're coming up on a on the ridge, more pronounced ridge feature. Mal and I just gave this anemone a common name. It's the caramel apple anemone. <laughs> yeah. It has to be a non-biologist to give common names. Mm. Totally. We're, we're too close to them. <laughs> <laughs> a Venus flytrap anemone or... What did you call them? Um, caramelized apple. Because when we saw it, I was with the other watch when during a dinner relief when we saw it, and it was actually curled inside, so it looked like a caramelized so apple that's like this and splatted on the rock. Beautiful. Actually, looks like. St Pillows my grandmother used to have. Awesome shot, thank you. Yeah, same color, right? More to your left. More to the left? Yeah. Couple big fans in the background there. These ones are further. Those guys. That's all I can see. Probably good for uh, Go 20, another, another 20 north. Move. Yeah. A white primnoid fan up here. Let's do another here. ship move. Pitch this enough. Let's do 20 meters north of Kentucky. Anything we want to zoom on in this area? I think we're OK. These 20 like meters north, seen please. quite a lot of. You fly and eat M and M's at the same time. <laughs> That's the true test. That's a ratchet. What? There's no eating in the van. M and M's. That's like the total astronaut food, man. Can we take a look here? I think is that a sea star on a bamboo? Oh. Maybe. Yeah, it looks like it. I wonder if this is the sea, the same sea star that was eating that other bamboo that was a. Uh, yeah, it looks like it. I think the ID was Circe Aster, if I remember right. Could be wrong. Yeah. Does this one have its zoom? We're going to get a good look at its oral surface maybe too. So, But there's no polyps on this coral, so I don't think it'll have its stomach averted. They really go all the way to the top. Yeah. You turn your auto heading off, Paul. It won't jerk back and forth like that. Got it. 
Yeah, interesting there's nothing left on the coral, so it's seemingly just going for a ride. And the, the other one was a Can snake stars, by? sea stars that were snakes that kind of curl around. Yeah. Get a little bit closer. Did you see one of the, its arms? It was so long. It like reached way over. One of the ones we picked up yesterday actually had its arm tied in a, a knot around oh. the coral that we sampled. No problem. Oh my god, thank you. Okay, let's uh, zoom here. Mm, this is wrong. That's more like it. Maybe this one's finished eating and it's on its way back down? Yeah, potentially. Tanak attack. Tanak attack. If you want, um, want to adjust the secret, she dials her Z bias in. So the so she's neutral. Yeah. Yeah. I'll help you with the zooms. Some of the webbing in the background too. All right, let's come back out. It's probably going to be. It's probably going to be up around 28 or something like that, 28 to 32. Does the Z bias uh, like compensate for whatever the gain is? No, it's a misnomer for down trim. It's down trim. So you've got to be. It's like a fancy name for down trim. Yeah. Yeah. Are you guys speaking fancy ROV language? No, we're speaking fancy woods hole language. <laughs> but they did it first. <laughs> What we what we were referring to there is um, the Hercules has a trim a trim function on other systems called a trim function or an airplane it's called a trim but uh, we call it Z bias so we can bias the C function of the ROV which is up and down either way and that basically keeps the the blades and the thrusters spinning one way or the other, usually down. So the ROV is right now about eight meters a minute, positively buoyant. And Paul's adjusting his Z bias to compensate for that, and that will hold the ROV. Uh, so it has zero velocity up and down when he doesn't have any command input. And then you can get those really beautiful zooms Jess is a master at that. She can get her Z bias like perfect. Wow, look at this. Thank you for translating that, Dan. My pleasure. Can we zoom on this? This is confusing to me. Is this one long Walteria? Yeah, what part do you want to zoom on? <laughs> I'd like to see right here because it looks like there's some living, or I don't know. Yeah, I just, just want to zoom anywhere on it, really. To zoom. <laughs> zoom it all. A zoomy zoom zoom. What are we looking at? Oh, it's, oh, it's fishing, fishing line. line. Uh. <laughs> I thought it was Walteria. We've seen so such little amount of trash down here that we uh, just think everything is but natural. Is there stuff growing yeah. in it? Yeah, lots of hydroids growing on it. I'll try to uh, <laughs> chase it up. A few squat lobsters. It's okay to highlight it. We can highlight the fact that there's trash down here and that we just need to continuously work on. It's a bit of uh, it's a bit of net. It looks like.
maybe not trash, it's a hazard that uh, fishermen face when they're trying to fish in terrain like this. All right, let's uh, come back out. Fun out. Cool Get their edge. gear caught up. You want to continue moving north? It's uh, been so nice diving in an area where there isn't, you know, a lot of commercial fish fishing. We don't have to worry about down lines and traps and things for the ROV. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. We've been severely entangled with Hercules a few times. That's why we carry knives on the vehicle. <laughs> We've had to uh, board dives because of it several times. That we have. Bridge, this is Nav. <laughs> Paul sees a cliff and he wants to jump off. 20 meters north, please. <laughs> I saw the uh, the coral. We're slowly working our way up this kind of slopish hill here, yeah? You just called for due north, right, Katachi? Yeah. Yeah, we're almost at this waypoint, which was picked at this little, uh, I guess you'd call it kind of a ledge on the ridge. So it should um, Let's, uh, sort of flatten out. Sort of is, here. Another umbulella. Might be a good a place for a rock. Penetulation, a type of sea pen. It is a good place for a rock. Uh, Val's with us down, down the lounge. We have space. And we're, re we're ready for rocks. <laughs> we gotta find one that we have to Great pry shot. out. Thank you. No fun just picking one Lella. up off the seabed. -E I'm gonna work for it a little bit. You can make it up? Uh, yeah. <laughs> cool. Oh, make it guy move. Money. Um, I. If we were able to, you know, use the magnum to grab onto something else. I bet we could pry some of these, but... Yeah, the ones on the right that the laser just yeah. over. Yeah. I think we've tried that before, actually. We, there's also been a hydraulic um, like chisel that they've tried once, but it just, yeah. pu it just pushed the vehicle, I think. <laughs> I've moved that hydraulic chisel I don't know how many times, oh. and it's very heavy. Yeah. Oh, so it's still on board. No, it's finally oh. found a resting place in San Pedro on the museum of... Yeah. A failure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that definitely was not a Oh, can we take a look at this? Not a winner. Yeah, that's what I was working on, actually. That is a polyplacophorin, oh, that's or cool. a chitin. It's a type of mollusk. Polyplacophorin. I think. It's a type of mollusk, which... Is a mollusk like an opihi? So, um, mollusks are a really large group of organisms. They include all the octopus and squid. They also include snails, both all the snails on land and in the sea. Um, any other thing? Uh, clams, mussels are bivalve are, uh, bi mollusks. And they include these. Slugs, the too? Yes, yep. Oh, sorry, this big rock right in front of it. Hey, is, uh, Location. Kahuli kai. Kahuli kai. Oh. Kahuli is a type of snail. It's the forest snails. It's the native forest snails. And it actually has a song for it. Yeah. That Atlanta is not wanting to come around. There it goes. Otago auto heading. So chitons have a specialized feeding structure called a radula. It's a really hard biomineralized tissue that they use to sort That's of scrape zoom food in. off these rocks. Jeff, can we, uh, yeah, thank you. <laughs> it looks like a large crinoid on that we just, um, Use your lateral. So you instead of your twisting.
we uh, zoom more now? What'd you call it again? A chitin. Chitin. Awesome. Chitin. Chitin. Cool. No, you don't see a ton of those down here. No. We've seen maybe one or two on this expedition. So around those plates, they have a, a it's called their foot, kind of like the, the foot of a snail. Uh, Same structure. It's almost like a trilobite. Yeah. <laughs> does you want to come uh, to your left? No, back yeah. in front of them. You're about to other limits over there. It's kind of, it won't yeah. bring the heading anymore to the right. I'm going to keep pushing north, yeah? Yep. Bridge, this is now. Uh, just hold, it, hold off for a second, Katachi. Okay, holding off. Sorry, George. Let's get back in the box here. Is it dad, do dad joke time yet? <laughs> it's always dad joke time. <laughs> Suspense is killing me. Well, you have to make one up quick. She's <laughs> thinking. <laughs> the girls are speaking Hawaiian language. Oh. Aloha Hawaii. What's uh, swimming here? Uh, oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> Ready okay. to wait. Well, maybe it's one of those translucent fish? ones. Kahiaui. Oh, no. Whoa. It is a grumpy fish. <laughs> Looks like a macro you unit, man. Oh. Look at its little tentacle at the bottom. Its little whiskers. Oh, Whoa. Wow. Oh, oh, my wow. God. It's coming, coming right at us. straight for us. Looks like, looks like we might. Scary. Dun, 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 dun. That's a great shot from yeah, yeah, looking up at it from lasers. below. Oh, that that's is cool. so cool. Wow. Hello there, fellow. Do we know the name of this? I want to say it's in the Macro Uridae. Macro Uridae. Well, we're uh, about as far as we can go. So unless it chooses to swim a little bit closer. <laughs> Look at that there, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. You have a Macro Uridae. <laughs> In the wild, in the deep, dark depths right, of the let's ocean. Come wide. Thank you. Also known as rat tails, Michael Rat tails. What did the magician say to the fisherman? Without geometry, life is pointless. <laughs> 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 oh. Oh, there it is again. Appearance again. What a beauty, Maggie. All right, let's come back in. <laughs> it's actually been a pretty interesting dive with all the stuff we've seen, despite the uh, lack of yeah. corals and sponges. Mm-hmm. Nice little break up in the action. Looks a little beat up on the nose. I was, yeah, I was going to say, it yeah. looks like it's been in a fight or two. Look at that scratches on the body also. Yeah. Wow. You can see that there, ladies and gentlemen. It's a bit feisty. You can see its scars on its skin there. Yeah, this fish has seen <laughs> some things. All right, and it is now swimming out of view again. I want to watch Steve Irwin. Irwin doesn't see anything. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Cool shot. Totally. Just swimming shot. down the slope like that. Okay, so the magician said to the fisherman, pick a cod, not a cod. <laughs> <laughs> a 
The funniest thing is Kotachi's looking at me like he's so lost. <laughs> <laughs> Kotachi upset, moved, you moved to one. New England. You should get that one. <laughs> I, I, I didn't hear it. Cod pick, something. Pick a cod. Any pick cod, a cod, not a cod. Ah. <laughs> yeah. It's like a Boston accent yeah, yeah, magician. Yeah. Oh, I got it. <laughs> mm, okay. I lost the other one. Where? Oh, there it is. Where does a mermaid keep her money? Her mermaid purse? Yeah. In the oh. riverbank. <laughs> oh, that's good. I thought mermaids were marine, not in rivers. No. There are freshwater mermaids, I, I believe. <laughs> <laughs> well, <welcome. laughs> Quick Google confirms that it's true. <laughs> <laughs> They're like salmon. They come out of the ocean. <laughs> Estuary mermaids. Yeah. Steelhead mermaids. Steelhead mermaids. This is the, we're up on the plateau. Yay. We made oh, it. Ready for All right. Celebration. Lots of bamboo. This is this where uh, first have waypoint our ship has ever reached. <laughs> 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 ever, yeah. Yeah, he's he's ready. He's running on a leash there. Oh All yeah. Right. Are we interested in you know a rock from this site? There's some nice big ones right here. There are. I know. I think so. All right. So I'll hold off for space. Um. Hold off on the move or move anyway. Uh, no, you can move twenty. All right. We're good on space. Pulse. We got a small box B, E and F open. Bridge. Yeah. This is not. I don't want to. Yeah. Hmm. We, we have lots of slurps area. open. Is is there anything to slurp? <laughs> Twenty <laughs> meters north, please. What about eDNA? This is kind of the most diverse. Uh, good idea. Yeah. We've only got so what yet? We got plenty of uh, niskins. Still, uh, lots of rocks in Herc's future there. For next uh, thirty meters, twenty meters. Yeah. And we still have the the uh, nodule net. There's not really nodules, though. No, uh, oh, bummer. Those are fun to scoop, too. All right, we can do a Niskin over by those whip whips, maybe? Or just in this general area? Sure. We have to do at least one sample here at Waypoint 3. If you, um, if you back straight up for a second, Paul. Yeah. Just come right back to us. I mean, towards Atalanta, you know what I mean? You heard what I meant. Or you can turn around. Yeah, turn around and look at Atalanta there. Is there anything that we're looking for? Yeah, come all the way around. Maybe I'm seeing things here. for a minute. Straight? Yep. Straight into your right. That's kinda Would you take a wrap out? Uh, no, I would just put one in, actually. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, come ahead there and look to your right. This little patch? Yeah, if you just come off the edge of the cliff and come around there. Thank yeah. You. It's a dad joke galore on this thing. <laughs> Sorry, I'm seeing things. I thought I saw something more than that. Maybe off to your Let's left hear it. more. Are there more? Go, Fiona. Anything else? No, no, interest? you, Melanie. <laughs> no, sorry, I was seeing things in Argus. Um, it's all right, that happens. What lies at the bottom of the ocean Spin and twitches? Any guesses? Any guesses? I cheated. I'm not going to Don't guess. look, Dwight. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, can you uh, repeat the joke? What lies at the bottom of the ocean and twitches? God.
I do not know. A nervous wreck. Oh. <laughs> There's a lot of dad jokes coming in. My favorite part is that we're so amused by it all. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I want to know if people are looking these up online or coming up with them. Either way, they're great, but There's bonus that. points to anyone uh, coming up with their own dad jokes here. There's uh, several apps for that. Even themed apps. Why did the fish get bad grades? Let's hear it. Because it was below sea level. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, do you want to do your, uh, we're taking a miskin here? Yeah. Yes, please. The depth, 1889. What's happening here? Oh, Roger. It can be like a real hurt pilot. Put it in your lap and scoot your chair back, <laughs> put it in your lap, fly the ROV and work the manipulator all at the same time. <laughs> Pretend you have a... Uh, Intern here that's first time in the chair. <laughs> I can't help you though. Spark orders. What button do you want me to push? You did rack back, right? Mm -hmm. Did you uh, rack back yet? Oh. That button. Yeah, that one. That is good. I think all, all I'm qualified to do at this point is turn lights on and off. <laughs> porch lights. Roger, porch light. Uh, which uh, Niskin are we going for? Two. Two, Roger. Mm -hmm. taping them, but I couldn't find all the right tape. So. Three, two, one, this game. All right. How could you see that? What? In the uh, little camera. That has the... Um, little reflective tape on it. Oh, it yeah, yeah. Up. On the left, you yeah. saw it pop. Okay. Yeah, right. You kind of have to watch for them, because then yeah. it's really hard to see those back ones. Right. Count them. Cool. Yes, we got a sample, and we made it to three. I don't have a desk again here. I can use my mouse. A anything to slurp? Nah. Not that I'm seeing. Sediment? <laughs> oh, we have this new uh, Annie, Annie armpit slurp bar I'd like to test out. What did is we this? get the uh, coral dislodged from the slurp hose? Yeah, I, I did. Uh, was, it, was it stuck in there? Yeah. Like halfway up. Oh, wow. Can we look at what this is? Yeah. Uh... Let's uh, zoom a little bit. I'm not sure what exactly you were looking for here. Oh, this little red. Oh, tiny little anthemasis. I think I have a little bit more down here. Yep. There, there's different... Um, 
versions of those guys? Yeah, there's a couple of different species we've been seeing. And we've been seeing a stocked one, too. Yeah. And yet they're both so. referred to as mushroom corals? Yeah, so the, the family Anthomastidae is uh, the mushroom corals. Right. And so we've been seeing a, one in the yeah. genus Anthomastis and one in uh, the genus Heteropolypus. There's so a tiny the little sponge down there, too. The yeah. one with oh, the... Yeah. This one's cute. Yeah, yeah. The one with the kind of long no, Dr. Yeah. Seuss ver versus the... What is this called, Ryan? Dog toy looking one. So let's come back wide. Uh, it's mushroom coral anti antimathus. What is it? Anthemasis, yeah. Anthemasis. There's a sea cucumber off to the right. If Are people interested in slurping that? That's not high. So, so no. middle. I'm kind of interested, yeah, oh. but not scientifically. <laughs> <laughs> they are fun to slurp. Uh, I'm going to push back out with the camera. How does the... Um, Do I just push all the way out? <clears throat> yeah, it takes a while. It's slow. All right. When it's uh, slow, which is good. But yeah, so. Dan, I think the polyp... Uh, density is one of, uh, what I'm seeing is one of the main differences between those two genera of mushroom corals. There's also on our wish list a, a pure white mushroom coral, Whoa. which we haven't seen at all. Um, so keep your eyes peeled for that. I don't. All right, you guys want to go for bonus points and try to get to waypoint four? Yes, sir. Let's yeah. do it. Uh -huh. uh, if you see any I am one of those students. On the way, just give a shout. All right. If we see rocks Rich, on the way, this is now shout out. Well, we will see rocks. If we see. They'll, be ro they'll definitely be rocks. Mm. Val will come on the next watch. She'll grab a rock. 20 meters at 330, please. How does the watch pattern influence the lifestyle aboard ship and how easy is it to get used to it when you are new to the experience? I've been coming to Nautilus for a while now and I'm That's still not used answer. to these crazy watch schedules they have. I feel like... <laughs> You're used to doing 12s? Yes, sir. Yeah. <laughs> Two eight-hour days kill me. 12 hours here. You're done, you walk away. Yeah. ROV's on fire, here's the fire extinguisher. See you later, bye. <laughs> <laughs> see you later, bye. I'll see you in 12. <laughs> 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 yeah, the whole uh, the whole boat kind of uh, switches over. Right? Oh. Bridge crew, project crew, deck crew, everyone. Can we uh, get a quick zoom? Dan, on other ships, do you also have um, video engineers helping you with like zooms and picture quality and all that? Um, awesome. Thank sometimes, you. yeah. I like yeah. those a lot. But usually, no, it's a Nautilus is unique in that way with the uh, telepresence. But um, Ed and his, um, some of his uh, people go on, like, uh, they go on the Thompson they've been on, and the Tully. Uh. The uh, Falcor and the oh, yeah. Ocean Falcor. Explorer, sort of, uh, those pilot stations are just pilot, co-pilot. They're single-bodied ROVs, so I think there's only two pilots, right? And they do navigation and piloting. Uh, last time I was on the Falcor, they had one of the retechs doing nav. Oh, yeah? Yeah, screaming and kicking the whole way because they had right, stand right. a 12-hour watch. I, I, I'm not sure where they ever settled out. So back to the battle's question. Yeah, yeah Jason, Jason has a, a navigator position for sure. A dedicated navigator. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Ropos does too. So there's, there's actually um, four people on watch. But then they'll have a science team as well, right? Yeah, there's four four ROV people on watch, so the navigator's also doing all the video stuff. Uh,
not ac actively in operations doing zoom and focus, but they're uh, wrapping up all the video and the data after every dive. So they're they're doing what the video engineer does here, the data engineer, and um, also navigating, planning the dives. Wow. Well, they're quite busy. That's a lot, yeah. Can we get a uh, zoom on the sponge? Also, Dan, can you uh, turn on the lasers? Roger, lasers. Can you get your portal on? Looks like those yellow zoanthids yeah. on the rock, too. Laser off, laser on. We saw covering those walls a few times. Or do you want it on, Jeff? Yeah, actually. Porch lights off. So this looks like a euplectelid glass sponge, maybe in the genus Atlanticella. Really pretty. Yeah. That's a great shot. Glass awesome. Sponge. Thank you, Jeff. It is. A, yeah. Let's uh, come back out. For your 12-hour watches, though, you'd have. Um, someone rotating through that does relief? Yeah, there's uh, there's usually a floater, a shift supervisor, and then two techs and a navigator. Yeah. So the, usually the supervisor can wear any of the hats. Mm. And uh, most of the techs can as well. So they can do nav or... Yeah. Because the... Uh, uh, the shift lead has to. Is the ship still moving right now? Disappear and go to meetings with the scientists. Just finish our move. All right. the regular stuff we do Which on here. This is Let's now. Yeah, go ahead, do another one. Can we uh, zoom in here while we're. Waiting. Let's do 40 meters at 330. Yeah, really nice looking primnoid fan coral here. Maybe a number three, Kahia only. We typically rotate through, Dwight, in, in one or two hours. So are you. Yeah. You come in as co-pilot, then you, like Paul and I did, so he'll come in and sit here for yeah, a while. Yeah, rotate through the seats, kind of. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we thought about different ways uh -huh. to mix it up with different operations. We have a, our navigation team does all the mapping though, so they're really busy awesome. when they're off watch, and yeah. and the data loggers and scientists typically work in the lab when they're off watch. So those are crinoids, is that the right? Everyone's yeah. Busy. We collected one of these species. It was on the wish list. So and there's we'll a cup coral. Yeah. Ooh. Paul's found the mother load here on the top. Fiona, do you want to talk a little bit about how the watch system is for you? Yeah, oh, girl, Ryan, just don't ask me about the watch uh, system. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really uh, follow it on my end. Um, oh, wow. Can we see that? Oh. I feel like our watch system is pretty good from what I've heard and from my experience. It's definitely the most normal out of all the watch systems. I mean, it's like an 8 to 12 job, and then you kind of have that other eight hours of break after that and then we kind of like you know stay up anyways till 12 Fishy. to midnight yeah. so might as well just yeah right, stay Dan, up doing you, uh, this the lasers? fishy Roger. would you want to try the 12 to 4 or the 4 to 8 no 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 no, 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 no. <laughs> i'm good <laughs> that's crazy looking fish yeah oh, come back come back nope i don't know How do the ROV, how do the cameras on the ROVs withstand all of the pressure from the deep ocean? Stainless steel and titanium. All right, let's uh, zoom in a little bit. Expensive components. Money. Yeah, thousand dollar connectors, uh, titanium housings. Oh. And, and yeah. a very inexpensive camera. $50,000 lenses, or $50,000 domes. Domes, yeah. Custom yeah. ground. And, uh, well, yeah, I guess we're talking that. zoos here, aren't we? <laughs> yeah, for the for the main camera. For the main camera, yeah, it's titanium housing and a and a broadcast quality high definition camera and connectors and and uh, domes and everything else for this 
security cameras that you see popping up on channel three every now and then. It's mostly the housing the camera itself. Mm. Is, uh, Thank industrial you. quality. Well, the only reason I know how much the dome on a Zeus cost is because one <laughs> of the uh, manipulators for the company I used to work for decided to get Parkinson's and punch its eye out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and we, we um, bought them a new one. Ouch. Yeah. Did it crack or just scratch? Uh, it, it vented it, flooded the camera. Oh, wow. Imploded. Oh my totally broke it. Yeah. Wow. So they lost not only the camera, but all the electronics inside. Oh, my god! And the dome and the downtime. And it was in Bari. They were <laughs> our friends right down the road. I think the Argus one had a scratch on it, but were they able to buff that or, like, fix that? Do you know? Uh, we still have that one. Uh, that was the one that um, that landed in the rocks, and amazingly, it didn't, uh, it didn't damage it. It scratched it. And yep. the, J the Jason team was very leery. They wouldn't even touch it. Right. They, uh, the uh, the Nautilus team asked them to tilt it up a little, and they declined to inter do any intervention to it because if it imploded, they were worried it would take yeah. out their cameras as well in a chain reaction. It's a uh, big right. volume. Right. And it was quite deep. So. That is a huge Walteria sponge. Can you come down yeah. just a little bit, Dan? Roger, coming down. Was Zeus the previous ROV before Hercules, or is it? No, Zeus is the, is the high definition camera. The yeah, the name, the name of the camera, the model number of the camera, yeah. sort of. Can we uh, zoom in on this? But it's all custom built, customized, which is why it's so expensive, and the the dome or the sort of uh, the dome on the housing is completely custom because it has to from what I understand make the optics proper yeah. and uh, that's a real challenge the actual camera and lens are standard broadcast yeah right it's an Ikegami camera and a, and a Fujinon lens there's only about uh, six of them on the planet and, uh, awesome thank Ocean you Ocean Exploration Trust has two of them yeah. right I think we have the first one. Yep. Yep. One and two. Forever would know. I was going to say, I think this is what we're looking at is number one. Where are the other four? Um, I think Embari has one. Ropos has one. Uh, John Delaney has one. Uh, Embari may have two, uh, two of them. I'm not sure. They're all around the same, same vintage turn of the century. There we Is there anyone still making anything even remotely similar anymore? Like really nice deep sea. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Embari has um, uh, done a joint venture with uh, Deep Sea Power and Light mm. to make. Um, they've got a. What is that Jeff over there? The camera. That's so crazy looking. Wow. That is yeah. huge. Up on the right. What is yeah. like a white flame? White. Yeah, you come it down a little bit, Dan. Amazing how this lot. biology yeah. really changed after yeah. we came up on this ridge. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Bridge, this is Nev. Pilots, did you notice a change in the current at the top? Did it get mm -hmm. stronger? Uh, it doesn't feel super strong. Okay. Interesting. 40 meters at 330, Maybe a little please. bit more, but... What is that? What are we like looking at? Fighting the current. That looks like a a sponge shaped like a car roll. I know. That's crazy. Oh my gosh. Coral shaped sponge. Coral shaped sponge. I mean, this is a sponge, right? <laughs> yeah, it looks that way. That is really. Is it growing over a stalk of a coral, though? I know. Imagine. Look at those nubs that's growing at the beginning of its like stalk there. You see that? Yeah. It's so true. That is so cool. Oh my gosh. It's really interesting, actually. I've never seen sure. anything like that. That is, yeah, yeah really unique. Porch lights are wow. off. Wow. 
Oh, Whoa. yeah. This oh, lighting wow. is giving me life. Maybe we should do a slurp of this, huh? Should we uh, yeah. zoom in? <laughs> yeah, we can get a full zoom. <laughs> Is that from Diane, that sound? Did she start that? Oh, oh. Tachi started it. Oh, Kotachi. Because he's we part know. of Slurp Team 6. <laughs> <laughs> so does anyone know what this is? Ball's it's ball. a glass sponge. Oh, crappy. Beyond that, don't know. Interesting. Is That's this really something cool. that we do want a sample of? Ryan's call. Yeah, yeah, I think we should we should take a slurp of this. Yeah, I agree. What Ryan has the power. All right, Dan. I think we should back up a little bit and swap uh, seats. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Why, we landed there already. Was I? Yeah. All right. You could do a you could do a grab and slurp. grab and slurp. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I was. I'm not sure. There's a lot of great places to set down here, so if it's going to be, I can. If you're uncomfortable, I'll do it. Did we already do a kahiauli yeah. of this? Yeah. I know. I think you know. Makola koki and I kahi. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Good way to end the watch. Uh, yeah, this is blowing my mind. This is crazy. I can try to get, get maybe try to get a better gra some gra better photos of it too. You think? Yeah, I can do a little Ryan, right here. Uh, Ryan, do you mind addressing this question that came from New Zealand? What kind of data points do we log each time a sample is taken? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so we're um, logging a lot of different things. The geo position of where we're at, so latitude, longitude. Um, from the sensors on the ROV, we're looking at the temperature, depth, oxygen, salinity, of the seawater. Um, and uh, that pretty much covers it. I might be forgetting something. No, I don't think so. We, you know, more than just the geo position, we have the orientation of the vehicle. We'll know it's right. heading. That's, you know, what angle it's pointing at. For some of our uh, rock samples, with um, that we're looking for microbial analyses. Um, we're also taking a water sample with a Niskin at the same time, so we can um, look at the characteristics of the water a little bit more in depth. The Atalanta view, though, is just giving me life. It's so cool. Uh, oh, yeah, wow. Wow. Mm. That is beautiful. Spot lobster Depth. down there, too. Wow. Looks different the from this side, doesn't it? Yeah. So yeah. interesting. Totally. The base. I mean, this is totally unlike any of the sponges we've seen so far. Yeah. Really cool. It almost looks like scales from the underside here. Mm. Yeah. Show me on Argus there, so or yep. Atlantis, so I don't get too close. We'll have to send a yeah, uh, screenshot of this to Chris. Yeah, I hope, I hope Chris thinks this is as cool as we do. Hold, hold the on. The ship's still what? moving. Do we want to cancel that? Asako, scientist ashore, believes this is quite new. So maybe uh, our excitement is well well placed. Which way is the ship moving? Uh, 315 ish. 330. Three, three yeah, let's. Um, Might as well because there'll be a watch change after this. Um, yeah, let's hold position and. Um, Rich, this is not. Yeah, definitely new well. for this expedition, I will say. Please hold position. Do you want me to set up the slurp? Yeah, I'm going to try and get some, uh, couple more images here. Some what? Some Just get a couple more images here. Yeah, yeah. Got this oriented there.
gun shy after the last bunch. You want to turn the porch light on? See if it lights up underneath there. Uh, the porch light on? Yeah. yeah. I think the one we got was. Gonna be it. Right. Would you have your Z bias set it? Hmm? Would you have your Z bias set to dial you in thirty something? I had it. Yeah, around thirty six or thirty eight. on the tether and bouncing yeah. around there. Coming down. Okay, can push in a bit more, Jeff. I used the bubble cam as my reference when we're zoomed in there, so I, when he zooms, I, you don't... Oh, we're at tether limits. Well, this view is... Do you okay, think you can do a, do a quick grab and slurp, or should we move the ship? Yeah, let's move um, 20 meters, zero, 090. Zero. Bridge, this is enough. Can we do 20 meters uh, east, please? Sort of ruffliness makes me think it's a Fariad glass sponge. Peer through the guide. Okay, you can come up a little now if you want, Paul. <laughs> okay. okay, come right up. Herks over the hill. Down the valley from out of that tip. I need, I need, we need to be around on the other side too. Or do we? Do we have room there? Well, we want to be around on the other side so you have room to move the manip. Yeah, it looks like there's a cliff coming up on my left. Yeah, you should move uh, towards the sponge here. Oh, can't go that way. Tether's getting pulled. Yeah, we'll have to wait for the ship to move. Yeah. There's a couple of Fariad glass sponges in the species guide for the area, but they don't quite look like this, so it's really an exciting find. Looks like a Christmas tree. Yeah, yeah that's probably what the closest one that I'm seeing in the guide, but it, it is... Oh, it does look different. Oh, is too. that an actual name for uh, one? Cliff on the left here. What's that? Espidoscopulea. Atalanta. Yeah, you're going to have to come up. Am I safe to do so? Yep, come up. Come right up. Yep, I am coming up. Whoa. Coming up all the time. Right, no, keep coming up. We want the sonar up further away from. <laughs> okay, come up. Thirty which, minutes a minute. Which there. species of sponge? So that's 
this one. Oh, uh, yeah. There's two different Run. images in the genus, these two. Drop a waypoint there. Both look different than what we're seeing to me. What so do you want? Possibly a, a different species a in the genus. Or just leave the mouse there. Okay, sure. Right yeah, that's right probably there. the closest looking thing. Yeah. Oh, I can do that, yeah. Alright. I can keep coming up, but it looks like we're through the... Uh, yeah, you're good now. Come, come Ryan, back do you know you. if um, coral species can like interbreed? Come back. Can they make hybrids? Where? Yeah, we have some examples of that happening. Um, I'm gonna look straight down. We're not sure the anything. extent to which it happens. We don't know like how often or, or like whether it's common or not. Um, but yeah, there are some people really working on that, and you can look at that by looking at the DNA of a lot of organisms. And so I know a few people who do molecular work that are really interested in that phenomenon. Cool. And for um, when we grab the specimens, of um. 40 meters east. They aren't too affected in the pressure Rich change, the nor the light when they come to the surface, yeah? Do you think For that? the most part, they come up pretty intact. Yeah. I got that. Yeah. Awesome. Pretty amazing how these creatures can be exactly the same at the bottom of the ocean, all the way to the surface and up on into our lab. And then back to the research labs at the universities and offices that they go to. Uh, sorry, George, how about 135? Let's try 30 at 135. Uh, can we change that to 135, George? I think he's, playing, he's sure. working on it. Did the ship do a little no, Miss we just move here. Yeah, we just uh, we were headed north up the hill, and uh, we uh, veered off to the east to look at the sponge, and I, I didn't catch it in time. Roger it. Didn't expect a giant cliff here on the... I'm enjoying the shelves, but... What have you done now? You put the... Oh, is that not where it actually is? No, no, that's where we want to be. That's where we think the oh. sponge is. Yeah, I just wanted a mark there so I could get back there. Got it. All right, I can put it back to where it actually is. Here yeah, you go. yeah, just the... Yeah. Curse it. I couldn't remember how to do it. A temporary waypoint. We do that once in a while when we get pulled off or get wrapped around the axle and we have to go back. Still a cliff that keeps on giving. Yeah, so Are we, we uh, canceling we found on the sponge? sponge and then we found a cliff. Right. <laughs> well, they kind of got pulled off of it. They mm. uh, are trying to get back to it now. Mm. Look at that rock. <laughs> <laughs> that so wants to roll down the hill. Just nudge it and catch it in your basket. Yeah. <laughs> no. I doubt we're going to get back to the sponge on our watch, but hopefully we'll leave the 12 to 4 pretty well set up to take a sample. Mm -hmm. and at least be headed back in that direction. That, that rock looks like it could be a koi. We, uh, I'm going to check what our depth was at that point. Well, is it still important to sample, you think? Because we, did, oh, we yeah. did look through our photos and we found some similar things, but... This one's different enough that... I think it's probably worth sampling, yeah. Okay. 
We have um, the 12 to 4 watch slowly trickling in. They're going to be taking over, so you'll see some movement and we'll be moving around in here. Thanks everybody for joining the 8 to 12 watch. Hello. Make sure you guys get some sleep. You can always watch the replays on YouTube and we'll have highlights on the website. We actually already have a couple of highlights on the website from this expedition. Nav, do you think you have a good spot where the sponge is? Yeah, we do. Okay. We yeah. got a, a marker on the Rob Nav, and I also just recorded the approximate hurt depth. Um, so is it uh, where the red cursor is? Exactly. Yeah, correct. Uh, yeah. All right, cool. Thanks, guys. Good watch. Yeah. You want me to come back down a little bit? No, that's, uh, we're still 20 meters from the cliff. That's where this is going to want to be. She likes her uh, 20 meter delta. So 20 meter delta is kind of the standard. Good night, everybody. Good night. And, and I think 15 is... She's on the edge of her seat a bit. <laughs> this is going to be the first time we left them above 20. Yeah, the, the first thing they do when they come in is come up like 10 meters every time. So this will give us some time to hand over properly. Okay, thanks everyone. Where up comes up here, we're going to no, hand no. over. Oh. Testing, testing, how loud am I? That's good. And comms check. Yo. Loud, loud Roger. Roger, Roger, Roger. Roger. Roger Rama. So we are all hold. 
sorry. Okay. Now we are <laughs> holding kidding. position. Yes. Uh, already arrived, so if you would like to swing. Roger that. See how we're floating here. So they want that sponge, huh? Sounds like it. We will get the sponge. We will get it. <laughs> Which sponge? The one that we that they looked at about five minutes ago. Okay. I think yeah, it looks like I'm right there. Right? It's that mark, yeah. This one. Yes. Okay. So it's right behind you. Oh, uh, you guys think this is accurate for this position of Herc? Yep. Uh, okay, it looks light or no? Uh, Raj. Okay, I'll come down with you. Roger that. Keep an eye on my sonar. <laughs> 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 yeah, totally. <laughs> Do you mind slowing down a little bit for me? Yeah, sure thing. Thank you. Ah. I didn't want to speed up too much and get the um, wall faster than I was ready to. <laughs> I, I, I appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> Why does it always take two tries to load up the chat? It always works the second time. Oh yeah, it does like keep the other person's name the first time, the previous log, and it's very strange. Oh, that makes some sense. Yeah, okay. I don't know why it does that. It takes like two tries. Hmm. So we should be here. 1876 was Roger the death that. that the sponge was at. Paul wrote it down for us. Raj. 1876. It's right there, actually. You can see it in Atalanta. Ah, okay. We're going for that one yeah. there. I think it was just in the corner of Perk for a second. So I'm at 1885. I'm still coming down. Do you guys have a picture back row that you can show us as to what we're looking for? I think that that might be it. They said Ferreya, and that looks like a Ferreya, but um, let me see. I can Maybe. probably pull something up. It depends on if it's synced yet or not. Raj. Um, give me a second. So, Man, you want to keep an eye on the ship's position, especially as we're so close to the... Maybe it's a little to your starboard or something. Uh, I think that's it, yeah. I think that's it. I Raj. Think. All right. There are lots of options here that it could be on this <laughs> wall, but... Yeah, it could be one of those things that looks like a rock. Yeah. I yeah. heard it's supposed to look like a coral. <laughs> <laughs> so... In that case, this might be it. Yeah. I think I, I think, think so. that actually like is the it. They said for Rayet, and that is for Rayet. Yeah, okay. that entry went in at 1888.44 meters, and uh, we're right around there. 1888.44? Yeah, we're at eighteen ninety two, so probably. Okay. Probably yeah, maybe maybe um Paul put in uh Atalanta's depth. Maybe yeah. Mm. Um no, it's it's logged automatically. Uh, with the observation. Me? Are you talking to me? Yeah, like I'm, the. He he gave oh, he us a reference. Too? Yeah. Oh, okay. For how we would know if we were there. Oh, cool. Um, and I think he might have just been telling me Atalanta's depth. Got okay. it. Got it. Our viewers are confirming that that's the one. Oh, great. <laughs> viewers. <laughs> Thank yes. you, viewers. Great. Thank you, Helping viewers. Viewers to the rescue, man. <laughs> cool. You're right up on the biscuits there. Cool. Hi, Suleiman. Hi. If, if, well, let's keep a close eye on the um, Bravnav screen. And make sure the DP stays in DP. Yeah, and, sure. And just, we'll just both be ready to 
make adjustments. Okay. So I have, I don't know, 25-ish meters from the wall. Sounds good. Yeah. Copy that. Raj. Raj. Ah, yeah, Asako also confirms. Any do you guys want another zoom on this guy? Sure. Go ahead and push on him, please. Oh, yeah. Groovy. Cool. I don't see coral when I see this, you know what I mean? You don't think the, the like, ripple pattern of it is corally? Maybe. I get the idea from a distance. Up close, <laughs> it looks a little more spongy. Totally, yeah. All right, full white, please. Um, where is this guy going? I'm assuming starboard. Yeah. Could, are the lasers on? Negative. Now they are. Sweet. Let's think about size and what a good chunk is. Um, uh -huh. um, if we could get like less than 20 centimeters, that would be great. Around, less than 20. Around or less than 20 centimeters long. Okay. I don't know, like a piece of that bottom chunk that kind of looks like it's mind if I? isolated. Unless you want it. No, you should do it. Um, okay, if I turn on porch. Oh, yeah. Please, thank you. Uh, subsequent question, follow-up question. Mm -hmm. Um... What's floaty in the starboard bio? Um, Is there? Let's look. Nope, Do just rocks. Three rocks. You Three have to rocks. Push it on the Atlanta. Sure. Just try to keep it. It's, I do have a bunch of like heave I'm working with, but that should be good. Okay. All right. So go ahead and push on in there, a bit please. That's great. And how much of the sponge? Actually, come a little wide, please. Yeah, that's great. So I think if we got a portion of, you see that lower chunk that's like center middle of the sponge and kind of separated? Oh, sure. Yeah. If okay. we got like a portion of that, I think that would be good. Okay. Oh, nice. Thanks for the bubble. No problem. too far oh my gosh that's like the expression in and of itself <laughs> a little bit too far away huh okay full wide please roger we're gonna hopscotch up here I'm just i did change my heading a little bit just to keep you in frame roger thank you and i might come up a little a what no tiny bit no, I'm okay. I think I'm okay. Um, okay. Thanks, Kelly. should because we're on 112. Yep, it's a rock for you. I will try and figure out why. Maybe I'm looking at the... So Chris Kelly wish there. list. Yeah, I think Jones. it's that one on there. Does there, yeah, what's the more specific? Uh, so it's Periphera uh, Image or PNG 422 is the one I think it is. Is it it's on his wish list? Looks an awful lot. Go ahead and push one. on in there again, please. That's great. Ferreri. As Aspidoscopulia. That's how you say that. <laughs> What is that? Oh, it's the, it's the bar. Yeah. It's <laughs> like, go. I don't even know what that is. Yeah. Pretty useless. <laughs> Asako is pretty stoked. It says this uh, is new to science. Cool. cool. Wow. It's large. It is large. It's more uh, united than I expected. Like when we brushed it and the whole thing moved in one piece. Yeah, it's very rigid. Yeah, it's not That's as fragile. That's a great chunk. It's very fragile, yeah. Uh -oh. No, is that too small? Oh, you got oh. it. Nice. Nice. Beautiful. This is the always the stressful part for you guys, I know. <laughs> okay, for starboard bio to come. Oh, wide, please. 
Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Yeah. Is there anything floating in the starboard bio box? No, nope. nothing. Raj. Yeah. Um, the careful, Jess. Yeah. Raj. Dang it. Mm. All right, we're gonna use this chunk that we got here. Sure. Unless it goes underneath me. Just kidding. <laughs> okay, sorry guys. Sorry about that. That's okay. It's all right. Sponges are tricky. They are tricky. This one seems extra friable. Okay. But let's try again. Yeah. You want me to punch in? Let's get there, yeah. Um, okay. How about let's go for a little bit up here? Or do you want that same section? Um, whatever works up. Yeah. Roger. It might be good to maybe disturb the same section again. Okay. Happy with your grip force? I have a grip force of tree. Roger. Leela, I don't think I'll get a good grip on this without maybe sacrificing the rest of the sponge stem. So I think it okay, might go sure. higher. Yeah, that's a good call. You know what it feels like. there? Yeah. I know Mr. Squat Lobster, I'm mistaking your home. Mm -hmm. Ugh, sorry. Yeah. All right, is that enough there? Yeah, sure. All right. I'm gonna switch um, to dive salvo when you're ready. Roger. C is open. Roger. Go ahead, Kylie. Ready, sample salvo. Sample salvo. And I don't really wanna secure that vertical thruster so it's just keeping me on the wall. Okay. I'll be ready to come in. Roger that. Let's do this. All right. <clears throat> I'm thoroughly in the box now. Opening my jaws. The ship has moved a bit to the west there. Oop. You want to secure the starboard? You want to secure yep. that thruster? Raj. Thruster, starboard vertical, secured. Roger. Suleiman, can you confirm with the bridge we have a, uh, we're moving off to the west there? Suleiman? Suleiman. Say again. Sh mm. The Sorry. ship mm. has moved maybe? No, no. Um, I think the heading has been moved. But the shape is almost steady. Go ahead and close that up. Sorry, guys, Roger. it floated away still. I saw, I saw some a piece. You There's got a, a piece in there. Um, maybe sort out, sort out ship and ROV, and then. Good I don't plan. know. Bird's back on. So you guys saw a piece go in there, but it went in I think to another one, didn't it? A small piece might have gone in. I can get one more sample if is you'd like. It, 
Is it, would it be possible to slurp up what we already broke off? Or is that? I think that went under the vehicle. Difficult. Yeah. Okay. That one went under the vehicle. However, we can slurp this. Um, Dive salvo? Yeah. Thank you. I mean, slurping it will definitely get, guarantee your sample. Yeah, true. Um, and it sounds like this is of importance to Chris. Yeah. So maybe, yeah, because there's always the potential for this to float back out later on sampling. So maybe right. we'll take a slurp just a little bit. Okay, sure thing. Uh, that sounds like a very good plan. Cool. I'm going to change the cameras. Roger that. Oh, um, Herc would be great. I'm going to flush see. the flush. Flush the flush, Raj. Okay. Flush is on. Roger that. Flush is off. I'm going to come wide on Atlanta. <coughs> okay. Um, I will... Sandwich our forward. Roger. That's number seven. My bad. Um, and there's nothing in the flushes yet, so we can go for one. Great. Okay, well, we're sticking with seven. <laughs> okay, sure. All right. Do you want to do like 40%? Okay. Yes, I do. Go ahead and push on in there, please, Fred. That's great. You ready for flush? I'm ready. not for flush. Uh, for suction? Yes, please. One, two, three, four. 40%. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's just like, this is like very brittle, like lemon wow. meringue. <laughs> We're just flushing up lemon meringue here. <laughs> no biggie. It does kind of, it is kind of reminiscent of that. Would you like any more? Yeah, try 50 maybe. Sure. That's 50. I want to look for some pieces that are already broken off here. Nice. Would you like uh, more beans? A few more beans, yeah. Raj. Coffee beans. Until I s Kylie, do you want me to zoom out further on Atalanta? I believe you are zoomed out, but yeah, you can double check. Yeah, it is. Okay. We've got some pieces in there now. Oh, yeah. I'm at 70%. Roger. Would you like more? Uh, it's okay. <laughs> okay, that won't work. Um, I think it's good there. Okay. I'll just scrape this guy in. The base is like moving a bit. I don't want to yeah. push too hard. Few more beans. Few more beans, Raj. Is there a lot of room in the f the? Just out of curiosity, what's uh -huh. in the forward starboard or forward bio? Um, right now there is one uh, rock sample in Lambda. Raj, full wide, please. One rock sample in Lambda, Raj. We're at 90% beans. Roger. I'm just going to tap it on the ground so we can get some sponge through. Sure. That's okay for science. Yep, should be. Huh. Yeah, full beans, yeah. Full beans, Raj. 100%. Roger. Actually, I wonder if you can pick up those, what fell. Yeah, it's like falling below us, eh? Go ahead and push back on in there, please. That's great. Something still stuck in there? Yeah. Huh. Well. Full light again, please. 
How is it so delicate and also so strong? <laughs> right. Yeah, what the heck? <laughs> we want one or the other, friend. Thank it's you. Delicate Maybe because it's directional. It's rigid. Doesn't have any bend in it. Go ahead and push on in there, please. Bubbles uh -huh. your friend here. Roger, thank you. I like friends. There we go. Oh, Beautiful. Getting there. Nice. I'm going to turn the starboard vert back on. Yes. Um, all right, pull wide, please. It, it is back on. It was back on. Right, I just turned it on. Sorry. That's okay. I, I didn't remember either. Do you want any more there, Leela? I think that's good. Okay. It looks like there's a chunk on the back of the filter. Go ahead and uh, secure the, yep. the, okay. the suction. Um, so, Sisal so 1, those are samples 112 and 113. Copy that. See how much we got. Is that enough there, Leela? Yeah, that's good. Thank you. All right. Yeah, nice work. Oh yeah, we definitely got some chunks in there. Yeah. Oop. Nicely done. That was tricky. That was yeah. interesting. It's still standing and it doesn't look too destroyed, so that's great. Yeah. But, yeah. It's uh, 1112 and 1113? Yes. 111 was uh, an eDNA water sample. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay, that was in the back. Yes. So these are, yep, 12 and 13. All right, science. Um, I realize I've been off SPL for a while, so sorry about that. Oh, you're okay. Um, yeah, so we're going to get back in front. Well, we already in front, but we have a cliff, as you see. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll just do these maybe 30 meter, 20 meter moves at a time. Um, be conservative. We'll start with 20. Okay. Um, and increase from there. Sounds good. Jess, is it okay if I check to see if I'm full wide right now? Yeah, sure thing. So heading towards wave point four, right? Yes. Straight. What's the what's the general heading gonna be for that? Three three zero. Three three zero. And we'll move the first step will be in twenty meters, then we'll see how it goes. Raj, thank you. <coughs> you ready for it? Yeah, I'm ready for it. Kylie, I'm gonna come up a little bit. Sure. Bridge this is nav. Uh, can we move on bearing three three zero twenty meters? Speed zero point two knots, please. Thank you. For those of you just joining us, we're about a quarter of the way through a uh, sixteen hour dive. Starting at the bottom of Loudown Seamount is on the western fork of the Liliokalani Ridge. We should be ascending from 2,500 meters uh, at the beginning up to about 1,500 <laughs> meters. Would you mind squaring up on the flush and then switching over to port cam? Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it's not responder. <laughs> Raj. <laughs> Thank you. Asako's happy. She says wonderful collection. Cool. You might get double the samples, or you might just get one sample. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Either is good. Yep. Wow, this is We're an happy. impressive feature. That was a good, good uh, sampling. Thank you. This is an amazingly narrow ridge. Yeah. Did not expect that. So get some good kudos coming in from the chat. Nice job on that. 
collection. Oh, it's a it was it's a, a team effort. It was a tricky these. spot. Yeah. Kylie's the one that's really taking the beans, so she's uh, you know, giving it the beans, and then we like are modulating the beans. And Suleiman's here making sure the ship doesn't run and doesn't do a cliff. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. she's like, really a dance. I'm the bean modulator. Yeah, it's all you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we all modulate it. We all modulate now. <laughs> I have the wrong verbs in my head. We all contribute. We all do our do our part. We all have beans. We all have beans. I'm stuck on number four, it seems. Let me <laughs> see. Get. There we go. We had a there question come in while we were sampling. Uh, do the organisms down here have a sleep cycle? Hmm. What their internal clock you is think based you are off here? of? Pretty for it. Give me the next jar. <laughs> I do not know what the circadian rhythm would be based off of here. Let's investigate. <laughs> there, yeah, those jars are just not, not doing it today. One more jar. Oh no. Give it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Jeez Louise. Okay, camera. <laughs> Oops, that's not the right one. Okay. Oh, that's also not the right one. <laughs> Thank God. Relax. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Thank you. You are welcome. I will make another move, same step. Roger. We'll keep with 20 until we are confident, then we may, may proceed on 30. Yes, please. Thank you. Praise. This is Nav. Another move. Same step. I'm going to do a gauge check, if that's okay. Roger that. Thank you. Good, good, good gauge check. Did you guys ever have Chia Pets? Ch -ch -ch Chia. No, but I saw the commercials <laughs> all the time. You know there's a Chia Pet out now? You can still buy them? What? What's the, what is it? It's a RuPaul. Oh, so yeah, we're talking gosh. about that. Obviously, <laughs> I need it. <laughs> of course, it's RuPaul. It's just the it's, hair. Yeah, it's the wig. I love that. Yeah, I do too. But I cannot buy it for myself. That would be irresponsible, but I am accepting gifts. <laughs> <laughs> I will keep that in mind. I hear Amazon's drones are reaching out into the Pacific now. <laughs> Not this far. I'm accepting gifts. <laughs> they got two-day shipping to here? <laughs> <laughs> they should at least make it. You know, day next day delivery. If we're yeah. really being honest. Airdrop. Airdrop. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine going through customs with a chia pet. <laughs> <laughs> well, it depends on which stage it's at. Oh, sorry, in there. It could just be a clay bust of RuPaul with no hair. Oh, well, that's, that's how it starts. Yeah. That's how it starts. That's how we all start. <laughs> we all look like RuPaul. <laughs> I would love that. That'd be awesome. <laughs> yeah. My dreams come true, why don't you? <laughs> Good, and push on in there, yeah. please. <laughs> I was just pointing it out, but looks like we have some pennies in the bank. Yeah, we have pennies. Pennies. That one's a little more translucent than some of the ones we were seeing yesterday. It's got some really funky yeah. front yeah. situations. So yeah, situations. Technical <laughs> term. <laughs> I could go a little tighter. Yeah, go ahead. That's great. Wow, we huh. kind of looks more and more like a like a like a boar or something like that. Yeah, it's really yeah. fitting its name. Yeah. I very rarely see them up on their haunches. Yes, <laughs> their haunches. <laughs> yes, that's exactly what I was thinking. Oh, I think really wants that sediment patch. <laughs> haunches. I got. I have a haunch. <laughs> Is a haunch similar to hunch? I said the joke I made. Yeah, <laughs> it wasn't a very really good joke. But <laughs> we have broken one of our pilots. <laughs> <laughs> I just like that word a lot. <laughs> it is a great word. <laughs> oh no. I made a boo boo. Hunch. I have a hunch.
There's a nice sponge. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Peak one. Wow. Oh, wow. Peeking out from the back there. It's in a really nice hold fast on that guy. There's so many, or it's not even one hold fast, oh, right? Because wow. there are so many bissel threads. threads. Yeah. I remember, I remember Chris was saying that the, I think it's what this, um, there's some name of the silica fresh jewel that has like, or not fresh jewel, but there's these like anchoring uh -huh. threads. I'm not doing a very good job at it. Chris would be very disappointed. Um, keep moving. No. Yes, please. He'd Thank be you. Proud Praise this is now. Another move, same step. The Bissell threads, they're good and push on in there, please. Fair and nematids, I think. It's cool. Wow. Mm -hmm. What does that look like from the side? Does it have like a face? Let's see. I have a little bit of tether. A little bit of tether. Can you come partial wide, please? It's kind of shaped like That's a face. It could be a here. weird polyopagon. Looks like one of the ones. Is this one some similar to what we sampled for Chris a few dives ago? Uh, seeing the uh, is it spicules on the on the edge, or is that something else growing on the bottom? Like or on, on, on the, the on the rim, outside rim. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, so what's that like? I think this is a polyopagon. The more I look oh, it's, at I think it's all a dead fur, the different yeah. morphologies that polyopagons The black and white have. sort of thing. Okay. Right. Yeah. I'm gonna start going pretty soon, That's but hopefully good. that gets we you it, yeah. an idea of what that looks like. Yeah, that does. Full wide, please. The way the lava's flowing back there, I mean, or flowed, yeah, is cool. All of this uh, jointing going on here. Yeah, that's awesome. Is that a tunica, or what is that? That um, right here. I think you're right. Yeah, I see what yeah. you're looking. I don't know. Oh yeah. Oh, there are a lot of whatever it is. Yeah. All right, coming up. More of your holothurians hanging out there. Walteria. I think we're going to hold off on our ship move for a few minutes there until we climb this guy. Climb it to the top. I've got a marine biology joke. Oh, Send it is it. with it. What is a comb jelly's favorite time of day? Um, uh, lunchtime? Uh, <laughs> well, I want to think. What do we know about comb teen, jellies? Tina fours. They're tina fours. Right. Uh, uh, um, when the light reflects on them. Yeah. No. Uh, when the daylight hits it beautifully and rainbows <laughs> come. Because that's real. Um, <laughs> yeah. Help me. Okay, we clearly punchline. aren't going to get it. Lila almost had it. Teener. 10.04. Oh. 10.04. Oh. oh, that's a good one. Tina Turner. I had a hunch it was going to be like you that. Had <laughs> I had a hunch. <laughs> <laughs> well played. Very good. It's always a good sign that your joke went over if everyone becomes deadly silent immediately <laughs> afterwards. <laughs> we're, just, we're sitting here contemplating how brilliant that is. I think we're also contemplating the sheer face yeah, of this rock wall. I think we're all working wall. on stuff. It's pretty cool. Yeah. I come up a wee bit faster. Probably. Sure. A bunch of tunicates. Like sporadically, you know? You can yeah. see that discoloration on the rock. This is columnar jointing here. Okay, okay. It's horizontal. Write that down. Horizontal columnar jointing. Wait, is this like sideways columnar basalts? Is that what we're looking yeah, at? Yeah, that's, that's exactly so what weird. it is. Why is it sideways? I don't know. Well, it obviously has to do with however it was cooling, but that's some interesting emplacement mechanisms we're seeing here. Like, this is big. Okay. Yes, emplacement yes. mechanisms. Uh, question from someone who doesn't know much <laughs> geology. What is a column? What are you talking about? It, <laughs> it literally looks like a column. It's You can see it a lot in Oregon, actually. Yeah, look, yeah, look up uh, Devil's Tower. Um, it's, oh, 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 okay, I've been there. 
Yeah, yeah. So they, you get those uh, hexagonal columns. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's because of how the lava contracts when it cools and uh, yeah, it cracks that way. Sure. So and cool. this one's sideways. Yeah. What do you mean it's sideways? Yeah, like instead sideways. of being the, in the direction we're traveling vertically, they were like horizontal. How can you tell? Because well, they were laying that way. I, okay, so it was a, um, you were seeing hexagons then, but not now? Yes. Yeah. Okay, that explains my confusion. Uh, stand by one. I yeah. want to get a, I want to get a little bit more above oh, the wall. I would say so, yes. Thank you. Um, so normally, like lava flows on land, uh, if they're going to form columnar jointing, it tends to be vertical because uh, they tend to cool fastest uh, when in contact with the atmosphere. Mm -hmm. um, well, that's not necessarily going to be the same thing happening uh, here in the ocean, where it's kind of surrounded on multiple sides by something much colder. So. Uh, yeah, we were seeing an exposure where uh, yeah, the I'm dominant cooling direction was uh, uh, sideways. And may maybe it was actually radial on a larger scale, but it's too busted up for me to know. Do you guys think that maybe next time we see something like that, you could tell us straight what things you're seeing that indicate what you're interpreting? Yeah, absolutely. Because I don't have, I can't, I can't, I couldn't visualize what you guys are visualizing, even though I saw the same rock, you know? Okay, yeah. If, uh, I hope we do see it again. Me too, um, yeah. And if so, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll have a look at it. Thank you. Sure. So this stuff really is still just jointed like crazy. There, like you, it, the way it's poking out there, like, does that like look like it could have internally um, have that structure or no? Maybe. It's pretty complex joining here. So all these like angular facets, uh -huh. Kylie, that we're seeing, that those are the that's the jointing that I'm talking about. It's uh, structural weaknesses from cooling in the rock. And, oh. Uh, sometimes, yeah, um, you get some interesting organized patterns out of that. So I'm keeping an eye open for you. Okay. It's Normally, so those would be going vertically. Yeah. Like, they'd be like like crevices into the rock in a vertical way. Yeah. That's that's normally what you see on land, anyway. Um, right. Okay. We, we, yeah. We, probably shouldn't be expecting to see the same thing uh, underwater. Okay, I'm sending you columnar basalts. Kind of oh, way. good idea. So, Val, you have a question. Is the horizontal columnar jointing an injection dike? Um, I don't know. I'd have to take a better look at the outcrop and, like, map it out a little bit in order to tell. So, we're, we're doing, uh, we're doing, like, uh, it, we're, we're doing uh, geology in motion here right now. <laughs> <laughs> do you think it, it's you're like when here? you're on the highway and you hit those road I think cuts. So, yeah. Shall we do another? Yeah, thank you. I think it should be USBL based because I have no Doppler anymore. Kylie, there's your green. Oh no, it's a green, green. thing. No, no, Run no. away. I knew we were going to see Ready for it. Slurp it. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. There are sideways, there's sideways kilometer jointing in places. That's cool. It's cool. Yeah. yeah in, um, Leavenworth area. Wait, you have a beautiful it's sponge on your um, starboard uh, side in what's Atlanta. The other, what's the other is solution? Did, did, did oh, right. zoom on it? Sure. I think that's okay. I'll lose her, and I'm going we'll to actually it just pivot to see it. Oops, that was too many. Yeah, I'm going to use her. I thought right because you haven't got doubler, so. Isn't that interesting? Yeah. It's a USB. I've never seen it. Star shape. Before. You have a little fish right there. So keep it with the dead rock. I or just want to know what happened here. I USB, know. okay. Zoom it up. You ready for it? Raj. There's that fractured okay. bill of salt you'd like to show yeah. us. It's Big like on an outcrop there. of the oh. whole enchilada. Yeah. Enchiladas sound really good. <laughs> oh my I call my dog my little enchilada. Aww. Isn't this more of that horizontal? You can see it in that, that little... Is right oh, there. that? Is that correct? I don't know what that is. That might actually be like a dike that intruded through this lava flow. Huh. Maybe. Interesting. Yeah. Is there seeing a possi yeah, possible dike intrusion? So what is a dike intrusion? Um, so it's it's a uh, it's it's like a crack um, with magma in it and. Uh, that means that um, this would have, if, if that's what that is, uh, this pile of rock that we're moving up uh, 
was in place and then a subsequent episode of whatever uh, uh, magma intrusion um, ended up sending uh, some melt into this rock after it cooled and uh, basically left a crack full of melted stuff and uh, that that, uh, that leaves a, uh, a dike so we might see a few of those in here so it means we've had multiple episodes of magmatism so what we're looking at is mainly extrusive stuff, so stuff that erupted, and then uh, dikes are intrusive. Um, so they just kind of, they intrude. They don't really erupt. Do the dikes, um, the, the new magma, is it filling in pre-existing cracks or does it create cracks in the previous deposit? Uh, it creates cracks. Cool. Yeah. Is dike always a, an igneous thing, or is it also, are they always like secondary igneous formations move. that like cut yeah, across clear. existing yeah, to layers get, uh, or rock? Atlant, like um, so generally, yeah. but here. I think there are meters, some you. Bridge, this is nav, another move, okay. same step. It's a large anatomy on that, crazy Yeah, you, you can get like, uh, in like specific situations, I think related to earthquakes or something, uh, dikes with sedimentary material in them. Okay. Um, I don't know a huge amount about those. I'm gonna look that up. So I got internet here. Val, is the columnar basalt the gut of a volcano? Um, not necessarily. It's, uh, it's just something that forms out of uh, cooling erupted lava. Well, and it, well, or magma. Yeah, here we go. These are sand dikes, plastic dikes. Um, oh, okay. Yeah, so they're, they're they're not. Yeah, they're so not always. So they're igneous. just like cross cutting yeah. features. Yeah. Most commonly, though, we think of them as like you know igneous stuff. Right. Yeah. There's something very complex going on here geologically, and. Oh, this would be so cool to map out. You certainly picked out some different terrain. This is I know. Blame me. Blame that on me. Oh no, <laughs> it's kind of interesting just to see. I mean, we're seeing so much more kind of geology yeah. stories here. This Only bits face. and pieces of them too. It's very mysterious. Just out of curiosity, are we able to look a little closer at that? At the what red dots that, whatever here. Whatever this little thing is, I can't put. I'm gonna guess it's a mushroom coral. Dive plane. Yeah, it looks like one. It seems like mushroom corals kind of grow in colonies, hey? Mm -hmm. Go ahead and push that in there, please, center screen. I think you're right. With like a couple in one spot. Oh. Uh, yeah. No. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yep. We guys. Good call. Cool. They're very small. They are. Wow. It does usually seem like a Pull couple wide, of recruits will settle in one spot. That was really botryoidal, right? Very. Got a couple of those down in the lab right now from uh, last dive on Mercury. Val, I'm very impressed that you can rock saw in seas. I know, <laughs> it's really <laughs> impressive and t scary. <laughs> uh, I've been operating a rock saw for longer than I care to think about. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's taken some practice to get there. Little sponge. And a lot of patience. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Is it a sponge or is that that like thing we were looking at earlier? Oh yeah. Looks like stocked. a sponge. Yeah. This is some really curious uh, bathymetry to this seamount, too, and I've been 
looking at it and trying to decide like how much this may have been above the water line when it was um, active and I just can't tell hmm. because you have this this beautiful geo but it's got kind of the classical like three volcano kind of structure on it that makes it triangular and it's like were the volcanoes the ones above water or was also the uh, kind of more plateau feature above water too. I think we're going to do a 30 meter step there Suleiman. Okay. Thank you. Bridge this is nav. Next move 330 30 meters. Affirmative. Thank you. Long. Not really seeing much marine snow. How are the? Uh, are there any currents that you guys are noticing? Not really, actually, which is nice, especially as we come up across these cliffs and features. I mean, nice for us, not for the creatures living there. It's always nice not to get banged up against the cliff. <laughs> yeah, makes it a bit easier flying around the cliff sides. That would probably make us all less seasick. <laughs> Turn the whole van into a barf cam. <laughs> <laughs> just hearing just about barf cam. <laughs> How did you know? <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering if Josh was going to appreciate my lingo. <laughs> <laughs> barf cam. <laughs> I think there was... Other names that we had. That's definitely not going to be our watch name. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. So that's this, really oh, interesting. That. That's it. That's what you were talking about, right? That's what I was seeing earlier. Yeah, so you can see some of the horizontal joining in this. Here, Kylie. Uh, well, semi-horizontal. Yeah. Yeah, cool. so yeah, these are um, basically columns of cooled basalt. And when you look at them in cross-section uh, on the ends here, you get something that uh, looks hexagonal. Really? Yeah. I like uh, that. Yeah, it's a very efficient um, tessellatable uh, uh, shape. So um, on average, those are six-sided columns of basalt. Oh. Yeah. So that's related to how it cooled. And uh, basically, you get these uh, cooling joints. And I'm, my guess is we're, we might be looking at another. Uh, there. Uh, sorry. That's we might great. be looking at another uh, dike intrusion here, potentially. And uh, if so. It, the reason it, it's forming this kind of uh, uh, jointing across the structure here, so like side to side, is because you, if it was uh, in contact with cooled uh, rock that it intruded into, uh, you have that temperature gradient here on the sides versus uh, here in the oh. core, and uh, it cools from the uh, outside edges in, and you get development of that, uh, that weakness, that jointing in that oh. direction. That That's very cool. Is fascinating. Things I did not expect to see on today's dive. Yeah. Yeah. Hello. So you picked a good dive site. <laughs> Apparently, I did. You picked a really good one. Pull away, please. We got a spectacular rare sponge and Boys are look at all this geology. <laughs> to, to be fair, somebody else suggested that this is one of a uh, couple of candidates, and I was like, ooh, I like the steep one. Yeah. <laughs> and everybody else is like, okay. I like your style. <laughs> <laughs> we like it. <laughs> What were you going to say, Justin? Oh, I was just asking what your call was on that sponge we just zoomed in on. Um, I think that was a balsoma, no? Or a balsoma knee. A balsoma knee. It looked stalked, no? Yeah, it was stalked. Were you thinking Advina? No, I wasn't feeling confident about anything, really. It looked a little bit like some Rosilides. That, Rosilides that looked like almost that. like an, um, uh, not an Umbalula, but a, uh, it's too late now. Holotherian? Holotherian, yeah. yeah. Little guy. Or my eyes are just getting bad. I don't know. I can't tell if these are Metallogorgia or Chrysogorgia genicula or uh, Flavicens. Do you want me to zoom on them when I go back sure. over there? Sure. From this angle, it's looking more like Metallogorgia, like really planar on the top. 
Oh my gosh, this is bulletin number eight. This is ancient. Uh -huh. Not entirely what I'm looking for. Oh. So, interesting. It is pretty interesting how these features are just broken off and so jagged and yeah. serrated almost. What is that in the pink in the middle? The pink That's in the middle. The like whole three in? We also got some sea urchins. Christopher. Right He's there. moving. What He's is the big line on the hand. far uh, left top corner? Oh, uh, uh, way in the bamboo back. Bamboo coral? Okay. Yeah, I think it's a bamboo. Right here you're mm. talking about? Yeah. Yeah, big whip, whip bamboo. Jeez Louise. We got some cool images of your columnar jointing. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> This is the one there, right, Leela? Yeah, I think I think it's Metallogorgia. We're all right. We don't have to go too crazy. Okay, Raj. Yeah, it does look like we saw yesterday. Oh, oh just kidding. <laughs> We're not zooming <laughs> in at all. <laughs> My work here is done. This Should is I do so another step? Cool. Um, or wait for you? Yeah, sure thing. The center looks pretty clear. Ooh, hello. Beautiful close-up. 30 meters. Of the sparse brancher. Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wishbone coral. But, okay. okay, so that is not a... Bridge, this is not. Another move, same step, please. Not the sparse brancher. I feel like, no, I was going to say, I feel like that should be an easy one to identify. That's not a... That's not a black coral, is it? No. 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 You know what it is. Is it a bumble, bubblegum coral? Mm. No. But those are rare, but I feel like um, the name is easy to come up with. So the the ba the black corals will look a lot more spiky, and you'll see the like thin black stalk or inner skeleton. Mm -hmm. The go ahead, Jess. No, that was me. I oh, thought that was sometimes when I can't see their stalk, I'm like, what's floating? Um, and it's oh. just I can't see the stalk yet. <laughs> Uh, the bubble gums are like really, they have really thick um, branches and then like bulbous. Oh, look oh, at the, hi. is that a tina or something? I don't know, it's so red. <laughs> it was just, <laughs> they're just like noped out of there. <laughs> Say goodbye. <laughs> okay, what's this in the middle? You know that too, somebody. Pom pom. Yeah, pom pom and yeah. enemy. Yes. Liponema. So, so what was that pinkish cor coral? It was a bamboo. Color? Oh, it was. Mm -hmm. So, like when they have like those, like it seems like they have pretty thick nodes. Yeah, they're. I guess they're pol. I you can usually tell by their polyps, and the color is usually pretty consistent too. This like tannish, pinky color. And okay. The polyps that go. They look like they. Well, not on all of them, but on a lot of them, look like they go all the way around. You know, it just dawned on me, I have not noticed, like, in my head, um, a word difference between a bamboo coral and a black coral. I've been, a mm. call, like, I I just associated, my brain didn't even differentiate the words. Well, maybe we'll see some black coral, and <laughs> you'll see they're very distinctive. This is cool. Bamboo coral. That makes a Look lot more sense. Look at those like long rocks. They're they're all so long and angular. Mm. Yeah. Okay, penguin bank is so is submarine. Yeah, you can get these plat uh, flat platforms that are submarine. I'll bet if anything, these volcanoes were subaerial at one point, and the bank that they built on never quite made it above. Well, we'll see. Yeah, I don't know. Geo's geo building is kind of a mystery. I think we need to learn more about it. So I'm not entirely convinced those entire platforms ever made it above sea level. But don't listen to me, I'm thinking out loud. Well, what's the mystery? What are the the different ideas for how a geo forms? Go ahead and do partial zoom here, please. That Let's is a good question, Rhett. Some geology zooms for Val. Ooh, I yeah. love these. Cup coral. They seem so sculptural, you know? Yeah. It kind of does, doesn't it? It's very fractured. It's awesome. Yeah. 
full light, please. Yeah, one of the uh, one of the prevailing thoughts is that um, it's a, a Gio is a shield volcano that uh, you know kind of builds itself up over time and has a subaerial uh, portion that uh, makes the ocean islands that we're all pretty familiar with, mm -hmm. and then you have uh, like flank failures that kind of uh, break the sides off and turn it into something with a relatively flat top and then uh, steep sides. So kind of like what we're seeing in the uh, bathymetry for this. So I've been, yeah, I was just looking up a couple things to remind myself whether some flatter, uh, flatter banks that I'm familiar with were ever thought to have been subaerial and then subsided. And it looks like at least one yeah, of them. I'm looking at those. Uh, is considered a uh, submarine and possibly always has been. So I don't know, I'm just trying to get that sorted out of my head um, because that's something I need to understand a little better too is, uh, yeah, how these, how these exactly build up. You know, are they all formed the exact same way or are there multiple ways to make it? You know, make that kind of landform. Sure. Yeah. There's a lot of geology that we still have to learn, and um, we'll call for the same move. Roger that. You know, it's still a relatively young science. I always think of geology as like one of the oldest ones. Approach this is nav. There's still another move, same step. Well, the the west, like kind of the westernized version of it, mm -hmm. um, is not that old. Like, uh, kind of got going in Scotland is like a hobby for people who had money and didn't really, <laughs> you know, they, they had the time. I kind of think of it as like the sister science to ecology in that way. Like it's like the same people pretty much coming up with both of those at about the same time. Yeah. Yeah. James Hutton. Yep. Founder okay. of modern geology. 1700s. Yeah. I do remember this. Darwin came back. Yeah was in South America when they had a big earthquake and found muscle beds that had been lifted up like eight feet above low high tide, mid. or high tide rather, and uh, started concluding that mountains were built by a series of uh, seismic events. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And he got in a lot of hot water for saying that. <laughs> <laughs> people, a lot of people uh, were like, oh, the mountains have always been there. Yeah. yeah, the uniformitarianism thought, yeah. Um, a lot of Darwin's beginning to think of things on an incredibly long time scale was from reading uh, work from early geologists about uh, Go ahead and push geology. Ahead, please. Yep. Makes sense. It does. I mean, uh, when you think about it, that's, that's the Western uh, development of geology as a science. Uh, but, you know, uh, folks who've been local to places for a long time also, you know, Pull they, please. you know, they, they may not have specifically called it geology or uh, used it in its as like a separate distinct science or anything, but they knew a lot about the environment that they lived on, including, you know, rocks, uh, you know, uh, volcanoes, hazards, sediments, soils, uh, uh, because they lived on it, they worked that land. You know, they, they had to know what they could and couldn't do with it in order to survive. So um, a lot of the kind of principles we use in geology have been around for a really long time. It's just, uh, you know, it's it you. kind of started becoming organized as a science. A lot of that was, in a way, rediscovered, too. You know, kind of formalized the way that we think of it now. Mm -hmm. So... It is old, but it's also not old, kind of depending on the, the perspective that you take, I think. Cause yeah, um, Mal and I and I have been chatting about uh, like some of the some of the Hawaiian lore that um, she uh, that uh, and some of those uh, some of the chants that she brought, um, and you can see a lot of parallels between. Uh, geologic interpretations of the Hawaiian island chain and uh, the stories told in these chants. That is so cool. That's yeah. cool. 
I actually Googled that, like, right as we started talking about this, and I, like, right away, some chants came up that discuss, like, earthquakes and, and uplift and the creation of islands, and it's really cool, you know, yeah. what an awareness, obviously, people living here had who were so in touch with the land. It's a, it's a great way to pass on that knowledge mm -hmm. to the next generations who need it. Uh, when are we due for uh, another rock collection? Um, I want to try to get up to waypoint four and uh, get a grab there. But um, yeah, there's all sorts of good stuff all over the place here. <laughs> there's a lot of grabbable samples. Yeah, I'm just trying to decide what to grab. It's like, do we want some intrusive stuff? Do we want some extrusive stuff? Where do we want it? How much do we want? <laughs> hmm. How can you tell which ones here are intrusive and which are extrusive? Uh. So um, here I can tell it's intrusive because uh, this is another uh, dike structure. Right, okay. And then this is probably all stuff that erupted out um, Got it. prior to emplacement of the dike. This is so wild. Like, So this this has gone through some another move? major... Yes, please. This, is, this ridge has seen some things because we're, we're seeing... I wonder if this is part of the uh, part of the ribs conduit, <laughs> and it's just like this ridge is just falling bridge, apart. This is not another move, Sam. Sam, please. Hmm. I don't know if they saw this on Dwight's watch, but oh, he'd probably you. be fascinated. I yeah, I feel Pick like up. they probably did not. Well, there's someone in the chat wondering, in your cut rock samples, have you encountered trachyte and phonolite? Uh, not to my knowledge. I've been seeing a lot of olivine basalts and uh, more recently uh, ankaromitic basalts. Um, but yeah, phonolites, are, I'm always kind of on the lookout for in Ocean Island basalts because they're a little bit of a curio. Um, they're not they're not terribly common, but um, phonolites are fun, and they're named phonolites because uh, you you hit them with a hammer and they ring like a bell because of uh, some unusual chemistry that makes them very uh, resonant. Mm. Okay. No, I haven't seen any of those yet, and I'm not sure that I will. Uh, I think. What's the that? Big sea star. Oh wow! Is that a? Yeah. Or I saw one of those big brazingids Br earlier. Brazingid. Raj. Mm -hmm. A bazinga. Right next to a. Uh, blah, 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 can't see. I need to zoom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a lady one. I don't know. So it'll look like a brittle star, but be like stockier. It's a cool picture. I wonder if we're seeing some of the guts of the uh, the rift plumbing system. I can't quite shake that feeling yet. Like we're running into a lot of these kind of intrusive, intrusive uh, sections. Yeah. So I think this was one of Rennie's original suggestions, uh, a couple that he mapped out. So I think Rennie gets a lot of credit for. Oh, good. He's going to be too. happy because he was like, oh, man, they must be so mad at me for advocating for this site. And I was like, no, it's still going to get cool. I can feel it. And here and we are. And it is. <laughs> <laughs> Nah, he shouldn't be upset at all. It was gonna be it was gonna be interesting regardless of what we found. Exactly. This is all new. This is a really big geo too, like Yes. This this is just one of several big ridges that come off. Uh, this is a, a smaller one even. I was looking at the the bigger map. Like we could spend a week just on this geo. Oh, easily. You know what? 
I think I'm interested in one of the intrusive rocks here. Um, would, would we would we have the ability to sit down for a couple of minutes here and grab one of these columnar things? We can stop the ship. Let, it, let us swing. This is Nav. Hold position, please. Thank you. Yeah, I'm thinking about maybe poking around somewhere here. Yeah, if we can. So um, we probably won't be able to sit there, but. Okay. Ideally, it'll we just stop the ship. So let's uh, wait till we stop swinging into the into the wall, and then um, sounds good. Find one of those for you. Seems like that's been a continuation. Is seeing a lot of those broken off horizontal bits. Yeah. Um, and if if and if we don't find what we're looking for, we can always just back the ship up too. Okay. Would that be okay, or would you rather we back the ship up now? Um. I think let's back the sh the ship up now. Wait, wait, wait. Um, can we can we pan right slightly? Yeah, I think right is where that dike feature was. More. Yeah, because that's gonna go in a fairly straight line. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, we might need to back up a little bit. Okay. Sorry. No, that's fine. Okay, so we'll go to super kill. Uh, yeah. Would you mind backing it up, or thought or inverse of three thirty? We'll go so you hill. want to get a rock that looks like it's broken off of the dike feature? Yeah, I want to see if it looks Metric. different. 10 meters. Do these ones not work for you? Uh, uh, it's hard for me 20. to tell. To which Maybe is which. 20, yeah. So I'm looking for something like near in place, you uh, know. Kind of this is not. Got it. Yeah. Can we move on bearing 150, 20 meters? Yes, please. Roger, thank you. I'm kind of blown away. I haven't seen anything like this before um, in an oceanic setting. And you see this stuff all the time on the mainland, but when do you get to see this out at sea? I can't say I've ever been so genuinely interested in <laughs> the geology <laughs> at, at sea. <laughs> There's really cool land geology that I've appreciated a lot, but I'm appreciating this the most under the ocean. This is pretty wild. Yeah. I Sorry, I'm just trying to see where we were for those really long bits. Mm -hmm. Now you're good. Like I, I think they're oriented too. They all seem to be as long as we're. I you think we've been heading roughly. Target for you here, or? Yeah, go ahead. It's like a reference in case of. Thank you. Cool. I think we've been on more or less the same heading, right? Yeah. Yeah, I think these are, if I'm not mistaken, these are pretty close to being oriented to each other. I don't know what that means yet. They all look super angular and different from the surrounding stuff. Very, yeah. So this was, I think this was the patch that you're originally interested in? I think so. I think yep. so. I recognize the Walter over here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the biology cues. Um, would you mind actually dropping one more pin here? Um, and then if that cliff gets any closer, then I'll have to keep moving. It's all the same. Okay. Okay, Raj. These are all... The lasers are small against these. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, but that one just to the left of the lasers now, maybe not uh, no. Oh, that fragment? Yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to decide if that's or related to, the right to this or not. Because yeah, this fragment. That one, that one also looks very, like, rectangular. And it yeah. I think that is mm -hmm. related. Give it. There might be a smaller piece there. I'm continually surprised by how often field camp, like mapping skills, come in handy during ROV work. I am pull right back. We had to do uh, um, reckoning once when we were having GPS we have issues. Space mm. here. Like triangulating off of contours and stuff. Um, That's cool. Try picking up that guy this there. Hard. <laughs> Which uh, where the lasers are? Uh. Maybe that one where the lasers are. Okay, Raj. Yeah. That looks um, like the right morphology okay, there. Okay, John Krapow. Yeah, go ahead, Raj. And then I'm keeping an eye on our sonar, so. Thank you. 
engaged. I'm okay with that being a little bigger. Yeah, you are. <laughs> I don't think we're going to have a choice with the size on these. Right. I've got Grip Force 9. What would you call the resto? So this is a dike feature running nice. through what? Um, extrusive awesome. lavas um, okay. or just like... All right. I'm gonna come a little ahead and then come up on the delta bit for you. Okay, Raj. If you wanna halt it there. Yeah, cutting yeah. through pillow lavas is fine. Okay. Indexed. All right, and then we're gonna hop a little bit up here. Just okay, sure. The sonar is looking a little bit. Looks good. No worries. Thanks for indulging me on that. Yeah, of course. Bell, how do these ridges form? Um, so the ridges that come off of volcanoes are um, built up by uh, structural weaknesses. You that want to move the arm? Uh, I think you're good. I'll sit down right up there, I think. Okay. Yes, yeah, so they're, they're actually like rip zones, too, where um, uh, melt kind of moves from the summit area into the rifts and then you get eruptions along these rifts and they build they build up as these uh, topographic features so they're they're part of the extended uh, volcanic system Hi. sit down right here okay it's just not you too might have to move the arm yeah, I'm gonna do that right now Raj thank you Oops. all right mm -hmm. setting down all right I'll, I'll uh, Finish comments on that once we're uh, ready. Uh, I just want to get a zoom on this, yeah? Yeah. I just find the light or look up for me or something. Yeah, I'll look up for you. All right. All right. You are all clear to start your zoom. Oh, yeah, that's oh nice. Too. Do you want to, yeah, it's kind of a hard one to get the iris on, hey? It's, uh, yeah, it's the background is going to be blown out if what we're going to not on? have this in shadow. The yeah. porch might do it. You want me to do the porch light on there? How about that? Me, Ooh. Well, let's see. Worse? There we go. That's yeah, better. Better. That was better. Roger. Yeah, that looks pretty, uh, it's not the prettiest uh, column that you'll ever see, but it is columnar. Mm -hmm. That's that's the kind of shape that we're looking for. Okay, so okay. That's beautiful. where would you like it? Starboard, Can you come big, on? starboard E, Raj. Uh, do we want to log the, uh, the Are bio? Are you noticing that you're starting to get jumpy? Oh, no, no, the ship. Okay. Oh, Raj. So wild. It's like we're seeing the inside of a rift system, maybe. Um, I'm going to, since we have that sponge that might float out, I'm going to open it here. once you're all over there. Oh, Raj. Okay. And I also will secure that thruster. Switching over now. Oh, Roger. Which one is this? E. e. All right, cool. I'll hold there. Jeez. Sweet. Nice. Beautiful. Nice. Awesome. Thank you. This is so cool. <laughs> no problem. Yeah, can't wait to take pictures of you smiling at that rock later. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. 
Yeah, I wonder what it looks like inside. <laughs> I know you do. <laughs> it does kind of look like this whole area just kind of just scoops itself off in. a little bit. So we it wouldn't does. have seen that because we started the dive well above that. Mm -hmm. That would be so cool to oh, understand yeah. better. <laughs> Do you mind if... Never mind. Do you wanna, I think you might... I think I made a mistake. Oh, you're good. You wanna swing in a little more since well, it's not actually against the wall. I really... Uh, so the question okay. The question's for how do ridges form, right? Mm. Yes. Okay. Sorry. Um, how, oh, how sorry. Do you get so, yeah, in this case, uh, th these are uh, structural features in the volcano yeah. where oh, um, I gotcha. you get uh, lava kind of traveling outboard in the in the uh, volcanic plumbing from the uh, the main conduit, like the main magma supply, and yeah, it. Uh, Proud of that. Nice sample. It erupts out lavas uh, out along these these little rifts, and they they build up vertically over time and uh, uh, form these these ridges so that's that's uh, what we think we're, we're looking at here it's just this one seems to have been through some things and we're seeing some internal structures where uh, we can see uh, intrusions of melt uh, cross-cutting stuff that like older erupted stuff so um, that's not something you normally see with these too often. Val, are we all clear to keep going? Uh, yeah, I think we're good to keep going. Roger that. Oh, I knew. 330. Yeah, 330. 330. Point four. In 330 meters step. Sounds great. Thank Bridge, you. this is now. Cool. Bearing 330, 30 meters, please. Um, do you want to turn the porch light off now? Sure. Cool. You can go a little wider then. Oh, right, for the vignette? Yep. Thank you, yeah, sounds great. I think we should alert Megan to some of these images too. I've been making rock highlights, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> I love a good rock highlight. I think that we should really be capitalizing on the fact that you're on our watch because there are other watches that I think they keep drawing on for coral highlights, but like we need to we need to get the audio bites and <laughs> the the cool <laughs> shots of, and the rock stuff. That's gonna be our the nocturnal monopoly. Nocturnal monopoly, nice. I like it. I like it. Oh, we had a suggestion for our uh, watch, a name for our watch, the Noctambulant Explorers. Oh. What, is, what does it mean? Noctambulant means uh, walking or moving around at night. Oh. Oh, night walkers. <laughs> <laughs> that great. Thank you. We're also walking yeah, around we'll at cool yeah. midday, though. Yes, that's yeah, true. true. It just always Thank looks you. like night. Yeah, I want to see what Dwight thinks about this, too. He's also a geologist? Yes. By trade? Yep. This is cool beans. I think he's structural, if I remember correctly. So this might be right up his alley. Want to do the solution cursor there? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Tension looks good, weather looks good. <laughs> Roger that. So these species that we see at depth like this, how many of them are uh, specific to deep water and how many would occur in shallow water also? Of the, the biological species we're seeing? Yeah. These are all deep water. Uh, I think, I don't know, maybe some of the hemichorallium go a bit um, shallower. But other than that, these are these are deep water species. It's a nice little sponge. Yeah. Just pointing out. Don't worry about stopping. 
What the heck? It's very echoey sounding. This landscape is something else. Yeah, Anatoly is the welder. So. Yeah, I made a. And we're not using it. <laughs> this is just incredible. I've never seen anything like this. <laughs> it's so blocky. He's not working. Um, Do you want to do a partial zoom here, please? That's great. Look at that batrioidalness. <laughs> yeah, it looks a little different on this surface than what we've seen. What is this? Is that one of those ripply. crusted sponges? Kind of, it just looks like it kind of looks lava. Like rock, no? Is it just that light and the angle that gets like me? Like just every less time? shiny for some reason? Yeah. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. Very cool rock. It is a very cool rock. If you want to stay this zoomed in for a minute there, I can fly along and get a closer up shot of some of this stuff. There's a sure. huge mushroom coral. Yeah, yeah, lots of polyps. Yeah. I think Rennie gets a cookie too. Yeah. Him and whoever selected Lobster. sample 78. <laughs> Roger that. Why is the Gorgia just so Pretty beautiful? Pretty mm -hmm. Yeah. Another move, same step, please. It's a nice shot, too, right here. Mm-hmm. Ooh. It's like a lot of Chrysogorgia happening here. Yeah. I think a Bluto is one of the ones we're seeing, which we haven't seen yet. Oh. I gotta say, this is up here with the octopus for me. I don't know about you guys. No, this it's is awesome. Cool. Yeah. So that one in the back there is a bamboo coral. In the with back. The, with the white piece. brittle star. Oh, look at that Rodana Ritigorgia oh, wow. on the we left. Just, mm -hmm. We just came into a spot. This is wow. a spot. Wow. They're so fluffy like voluminous yeah yeah this is amazing what was that branched chrysogorgia called again we were talking we were looking at that the radanaridogorgia radanaridogorgia those brittle stars in the uh, lower right corner look more They're yellow all the way than we've the seen end. justin Uh, of the of the guide, yeah. That oh, I was saying it's all the way at the end of the guide. Oh, in okay. the I kept, oh. <laughs> kept scrolling through. We're all not seeing different it. things there. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> this is incredible. Look at the yeah, angle on all of this. Well, yeah. what is in the center? Is that just a big Walteria? Oh, the uh, the oh, pale yeah. thing. No, like She's back in the background. Yeah, oh, that. oh, okay. I don't know. We can go take a look at it once we get over there. Okay. This is so beautiful. It's so diverse. It really is. Very. Yeah. I think this is one of the more diverse communities we've seen. I like how it's on like all this little razor's edge yeah. here. Mm -hmm. A little fortress. 
Very cool. So we had a question about um, using the manipulator arm to pick up the rock earlier. Um, are, are any of the robot's movements pre-programmed? Nope. No pre-programming. Nope. I use from the control van on the ship. We use a uh, like top side controller that has the same joints as the subsea controller does and you hold it in your arm and between your hands and um, move the joints as you want them to move subsea. It looks dead, but we've been seeing this kind Could of like it's like a please. cone, that Christmas tree shaped Walteria. You know, it's got barnacles on it. It's probably yeah, it looks like. Lucardi. It's like Was Christmas that? lights. <laughs> 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 Very wow. morbid tree. Yeah, strange. That's pretty. That's cool. It, I can go a little tighter. It almost looks sure. like like arborescent forearms on it. It might be. Hmm. Yeah, that's a good. It does. On a like arborescent forearms on a dead, Walteria lucardi. Those are some funky barnacles. Great shot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can I come partial wide, please? good. All right, cool. Full wide, please. So we are exploring the seafloor in the Pacific Ocean right now with two unmanned ROVs. Um, Hercules is the, the right? one on the seafloor. Sure. Atalanta is above that. It's like a primnoid in a cool sponge or something. And we are way that above that. sponge is on a stock. Yeah, it is on a stock. This might be a cool area for an eDNA sample. Sure thing. Would you like, like to keep moving idea. or hold for sampling? Um, we could hold. do it on the fly, maybe? Or what do you think, Jess? We're pretty shallow, or we're shallower. Um, so we can probably just, if you have a specific spot in mind. Like maybe. right here would be perfect. Yep, OK. Already stop. Yeah, we'll hold off like two okay. minutes or so. All right. Okay, sure. you want to get the arm out? Yeah, I'm just coming up on the winch. Right. Actually, so the one, would you mind scooping out on high pack there real quick? I just want to see how far we have to go for today. Sure. Hey, um, Rhett? Yeah. Instead of the, uh, well, I guess you can keep the portal cam up there. I wasn't sure if they'd want to see the manipulation since they just had a question about it. Can they see the control so van, you know? Oh, yeah, uh, almost uh, 1,100 meters, 1,100 meters. 1,100 meters? Okay, roger. No, that's still uh, waypoint 9, the last one. Okay, oh, that's pretty good, actually, then. Jeez Louise. Okay, come on. I am full rack back. Roger. Um, looks like number three. Yeah. Yep, number three. And I am three meters off. I'll get a little bit closer, but I don't want to sit down on these plurals. Thanks. Number three is blue. All right, I'm two and a half meters off. Pretty much my nose is in the bushes now. Ready? Mm -hmm. Yeah, go ahead. Ready. So if you're watching, you can Popped. see Sweet. Kylie ma using the manipulator on sat P3. Awesome. Very smooth. Thank you, Rhett. Yeah, nicely done. That's two and a half meters off the deck there. Great, thanks. All right, Suleiman, we can go ahead and start that ship move. Hold Keep moving again? Yes, please. Okay. Awesome. Bridge, this is now. Thanks for showing Another that. Another move, 330, 30 meters. So we are using uh, the ROV Atalanta to uh, oh, fill in for Argus. <laughs> nice sample, that was really smooth. Thanks. Mm -hmm. 
We do have Argus on board with us, I'm working but on my core strength. there were some thruster <laughs> issues earlier in our cruise, so Atalanta is doing a fine job filling in. Does pretty much the same thing, a little smaller form factor. Kalila, that dead yes. Walteria we saw, uh, Asako's back, she's saying it was, uh, they were hydrozo hydrozoans. Hydrozoans, oh. okay. Oh. Instead of the really? absorbent, uh, oh, what you call Arborescent it? Arborescent foraminifera? Yeah, absorbent. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Arborescent, arbor like, oh. like tree. Arborescent. I know. I remembered a lot of those uh, letters in the word, but just not in the right order. <laughs> totally fine. Arborescent. Ooh. Essence of tree. I have a question about our living arrangements on the ship. Uh, we are at sea for 23 days right now. We're a little more than halfway through that. We should be back to Honolulu, I think, April 30th or May 1st. Ooh. Ooh. Um, yeah. Another one of those, uh, what are they, South Roman Metra? Something, the Whoa. crinoid we collected. Yeah, I was noticing some of those are on Chris Chris's wish list, but I don't know. Some of the coral? No, Wait, some what? of the. <laughs> 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 some of the some of the crinoids, but I'm not sure if they were already. No, oh, we got the, the we got the purple one. Okay, good. Already. Need to kind of go through all our. Little I lists have here I have them marked off on my ones, the okay. ones we've gotten before. Awesome. Um, we can cool trade swampsies sometime. You know what? Man, the, I'm looking at this red black coral here. <laughs> this red black coral. <laughs> um, that looks kind of like the one we saw last dive. That I know, I was thinking about that. I was, I was looking through that. You know? Like a fish? We get. I think we saw it more than once on the last dive. Mm -hmm. But that one looked kind of like a different structure. Like It looked more star pathies. Wow, this is like a aqueduct. <laughs> yeah. It is an aqua dike. <laughs> it is an underwater ride, uh, volcanic dike. You want to half push on Atalanta? Sure. There's a big old sponge behind you. <laughs> right. Wow. Wait, you wanna I want to come out a little bit to see that sponge? I yeah. see it there. Yeah. Hold that there for me. <laughs> what is going on here? I want to see that sponge. Oh, it's a gone. big rosellid vase or something. It's beautiful. It's a cool Atalanta shot. Yeah, I'd be snapping away. Oh, I want to map this. <laughs> <laughs> we're all just in our own little world, fascinated <laughs> by what we're seeing. <laughs> look at That's that bio. You know look at that Atalanta Ooh. shot. Whoa. That's how you know this is a good site. I want to map <laughs> this rock. <laughs> <laughs> that looks like the Bathydorus. Bath I think it's Bathydorus Rosellid vases. Do you mind if I'm going to put still cam right here? Sure thing. All right, that's with the lasers on it. Now let's take the lasers off. Go ahead and push on in there, please. That's great. Has a little spout. Yeah, wow. Very cool. This is going to sound uh, creative. Do you mind if I turn off some of the brow light so that the still cam can be not blown out? Ooh, I love the way you're thinking. Go Let ahead. me see what the still cam okay. is seeing. We're going to we're gonna look we're at gonna that. Just, I'm just going to experiment. How's that? Oh, that's oh. Got okay. some, is, I know it's darker, but it got some ridges there. Yeah. Let's see. Give me a second to look at this one we just got. It's actually very, very dark. OK, you want that background? It's reminiscent of a pitcher plant. It kind of is, yeah. yeah. Hold on, I might need to adjust these settings up in here. Stop. What's that on the outside of it? Yeah, right here. The purple? Yeah. Is that a, is that a tiny halotharian? What are you? Go ahead and push on in a little bit more if you want there. <laughs> yeah, it is. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't mean to laugh in everyone's ears there. It's okay. <laughs> 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 Sorry, 
but <laughs> everyone listening at home, my apologies. <laughs> I kind of want to see down inside of it. You guys want to yeah, let's yeah. do it. Let's, let's look it. inside. Oh, wow. I want to map that sponge. <laughs> <laughs> this might be a little easier to map. <laughs> Right, can't exactly get out and go walk around. Hey, that's uh, a matter of it. scale, okay? Yeah. <laughs> well, that's not the best of shots looking down there, scale, but it's it? hard to look down. Yeah. Yeah. You can see it's a I'm bubble. I, I find bubble. myself like giving yeah, myself a, a double bubble. chin trying to look down this right now. <laughs> 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 like maybe if I tilt my head. Yeah, yeah. it's cool and bubble. Bubble's way better, yeah. I'm gonna that's zoom like a, it's oh, like yeah. an esophagus sponge. <laughs> oh my gosh, why do you do that? I like that. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm about to go. Roger. Boy, please. Roger. <laughs> we definitely had some fun with the sponge here, though. Okay, we would like to stay here or continue moving to 8.5. <laughs> <laughs> I think Val wants Let's to stay keep, here indefinitely. I think we both do. <laughs> <laughs> How about we keep moving along? No. Okay. I, I mean, I would love to stay and do circles around here for a really long time, but I think we, no. we're going to try for the soon, top. It's all right. It's time to leave the playground soon. Sea star on the back there? Yeah. Hmm. So these are also bamboos, I think. We can't quite see the the black Roger. lines on the skeleton, but the polyps you ready, ready are very bamboo-y and the structure. Uh, yeah, I think I'm seeing some probably, black lines. Probably Jason Isis, maybe? I'm just changing my heading to keep you, because I like the hey, shot. This is not another move, same step. Yeah, you can actually see on that area where I think there's a few, is that hydrozoans? Oh, yeah. You can see the right. nodes. Oh, yeah. Yep. Right. yeah. So that's actually a different coral <laughs> behind it. Oh, yeah, good point. <laughs> All right, you can go ahead and come out. Nice. I'll come back around. Roger. What, um, is it, this is going to be 3.30 still? Yeah. Roger. Going back to the question we had earlier, um, what our living arrangements are on the ship. We've got about roughly 50 people on the ship right now, and we've got most of the rooms have uh, two bunks. Some of them have four. I don't think we're quite full. We could take some more, but um, yeah. And with all of our different watch shifts, we yeah. just have to learn how to be really quiet and get dressed in the dark. <laughs> yeah. Yep. And the doors are very heavy. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and if you are not very careful, they slam and wake everybody up. <laughs> That's very true. This is true. And the rolls, you know, you got to time it with the rolls uh, so that it doesn't slam rolls. as you're closing yeah. the door. Mm, but yep. honestly, it's pretty comfortable. Yeah. It is. Yeah, yeah. yeah not bad. It took me a while to get used to um, sleeping with the ship movements. Like it would knock me over at night, and I'd wake up every time. But mm -hmm. now I think in my sleep I'm like countering it without even thinking about it. Yeah. I think that when you go home you will face a problem. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, oh, I deal with insomnia when I get home because nothing's moving, and it's so no. quiet. Something wrong. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah, I sleep really well out here, and then the first week, whenever I get back, I have nightmares. Oh, oh no. no! I mean, it's fine. I mean, yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty still common. Not fun. Are yeah. they ship related? <laughs> no, 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 it's not ship related. It's like anything, but I think I'm just not as comforted by any ship rolls. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, yeah. Like my body, I prefer sleeping on a ship. You just gotta get a like a rocking. Like a crib or something. Not a crib, but like a, <laughs> <laughs> it's a cradle. It's we like should a, all like a cradle. cradle. Yeah, like a, a mechanism to make a normal person bed move. The like. shape is like a, it's like a 50 person hammock. <laughs> yes, exactly. Yes. Kylie, do you want me to zoom out on Atalanta a little? I like this. It's okay. cool. Uh, Thank you. Oh, good. Yeah. So uh -oh. you're talking like 
putting hydraulics on a bed and just making it like a low rider sometimes. <laughs> you, can make that a, you can make that an alarm too, you know, like it'll shake you awake. <laughs> I was thinking like it those up. gliders like that you have for rocking a child, like why couldn't you put the glider like on the bed, you know, and then just make it, give it a and motor to make it do it all the time. <laughs> so yeah, the motor that you need for that, for carrying and supporting the weight of a bed. It's fine. <laughs> You're very smart, Jessica. I'm sure you could get into this. <laughs> we have like some frictionless bearings on the bottom. I don't know. Cool. Imagine having like a long string of incredible engineering projects and then just making like a rocking bed. <laughs> <laughs> I love oh, the sound ground. Oh, that's wow. A rigid gorgia. I love those. Yes, gorgias. it is. Good job. What a cool shot. Spectacular. Wow. Kind of complimentary to the shot you got, uh, I believe, last night with the going straight down in it. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. The that days was are cool. blending together, but you it was yesterday. Okay. Go ahead and push on in there and get the guy in the frame. Yeah, it's awesome. Seriously, what wonderland is this? I know. I it's know. so susical. Oh my god, I can't switch between capture and still cam fast enough. Dude, I'm we like, share a planet with picture this. Picture here, picture there. This is incredible. I Most like the stem on this like guy. This. We're the weird ones. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's a good point. Well, All right, pull away, please. I was listening to Pete Gerges give a talk, mm -hmm. and he was saying that um, given that the majority of the Earth is the ocean, um, the, the majority of living creatures are actually uh, in the ocean, that uh, if an alien were to come to Earth and then report on what it found in the crinoid, um, Hi, football. that it would report back <laughs> that it had that Earth is cold, wet, and dark. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> you know, because... With some strange <laughs> dry hot outposts. Yeah. It's like the, the outlier. The it's got a couple mountains. islands. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the highest the highest mountains are dry, hot and weird. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm always a, I'm always a fan of having perspectives flipped and like flipping them. Just this is now another move same step please. Oh, this is cool. That is cool. Um Jess, quick question yeah. or Kylie. Yes. Is the lighting right now differently than we usually make it? Because the camera settings I usually have are like, they, the, the pictures are seeming really dark. Yeah, the mids are off. I just turned back on. Sorry. Oh, you good. Oh, good. This is very interesting. It really looks like someone's brick friends or something, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So is this a spot where um, the, um, I don't remember the term, where the, the intrusion happened horizontally and then everything else um, eroded around it? Um, I'm trying to get an orientation on that. Looks like it might be semi vertical, maybe? Mm -hmm. It's angled. Um, but yeah, yeah. It's another it's another dike and it looks like yeah, it's uh held up better than whatever it intruded into. <laughs> Let yeah, that's, that's another There's good thing. something in your, maybe a sponge coming up on top of that. On the right. Yeah, it looks like there's a weird vein in that, too. Yeah, sediment vein. Oh, yeah, Raj. Let me know when those lights are back to how they usually are. They have been since you called it. Okay, perfect. I will look at pictures. Let's have a look. So we had a question about uh, what the different roles are that the crew has on the ship. We've got, uh, I think, 17 ship's crew from captain and mates to engineers and the cook and the steward and everyone that keeps the, the ship running. And we've got uh, roughly 30 on the scientist end of things. We've got three watches. Each watch has ROV pilots, a navigator, video engineer, a data logger, uh, scientists, and 
science communicators. We also have some other uh, expedition leaders and uh, other folks. Uh, we have Nato jelly. people in uh, in IT that work on the ship, keep our computer systems running. Come here. Come here, buddy. And all the data streams <laughs> flowing. <'cause> <laughs> <laughs> you can I'm imagine. Oh, Kylie. <laughs> Where Where is, you? Please? is that a sea dandelion? Yeah. Whoa! It's another dandelion. Whoa. That's not a jellyfish. It's a sea dandelion. I've never yeah. seen that. It's so beautiful. Oh, it has strings. It's, it's on, yeah, it's, it's stocked. It's touching, it's stuck, wow. sticking out. Wow. Something. I've never seen one of Go these on my watch. Go ahead and push on a bit more. What That's is great. that? Is that a jellyfish? Uh, no, they're, I think they're a colonial organism, if I'm right. Let's look really? into it. I think. I can see why you call them sea dandelions. What are they? It looks like it's spewing. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. He's traveling like down down that. Wait, what the heck? Is he going to the bathroom? It, <laughs> are those eggs? So they are I'm colonial. Sure. Eggs are poop. I have never heard of a sea dandelion. No, me either. I honestly hadn't either until this cruise. They they saw. Oh, they're siphonophores. Oh. Can I push oh. that again, please? Okay. <laughs> well, I've never seen a siphon. Of, I mean, it's a very interesting <laughs> oh, siphonophore structure. Like uh, oh, a Portuguese man of war is a siphonophore. Or a little one. Oh, that's good there, actually. Wow. So, look at that. Sick. so they have I'm this up here. thing called a nectosome. It's a part of their body uh, where there are colonial members that are used for jet propulsion. I'm guessing that's what we're seeing on the top here. Yeah. And then there are also different. Uh, members of the colony lower down that are responsible <laughs> for reproduction and for feeding. What the heck? Look at him. All right, now yeah. go ahead and push on in again, please. Asako said they saw two of these earlier on this wow. guy. Wow. Wow. This that is, is my new favorite animal that I've wow. seen. What the heck? Nice shots. That is so cool. Is that cool. all the way in? Incredible. Look at this thing. I think it is. Looks it, like it's just dancing. Yeah, it looks like it's a factory of some sort. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like a steam engine, <laughs> <laughs> like a cartoon. <laughs> so what's the structure on top of it that looks like a shell? Do you mean this little thing right here? Yeah. Yeah, not that it is a shell, but like what, what is it? That is a great question. I have absolutely no idea. Like the Portuguese man of war, they have um, a structure on top that that helps them like float, but I don't I don't know what this is doing. It does yeah. look kind of like that bladder um, that the man of war has. a little wide there, please? I'm struggling to think of something to compare it to. That's great. That is incredible. Yeah. It's just like Do you want to turn the laser on to see if it, what the size it is? Sure. He's little. Ooh, it's wee. Oh, you can go ahead and push it back on it, yeah, actually. Just a couple centimeters. Cool. Wow. I'm asking Asako about that. Yeah. Kind of weird yeah. filamenty stuff it's been Trying releasing. To like Which oh is wow, just they're like really long on too. Down. Yeah. They're hard to see, but they're really long. Just boogieing away there. This is such a strangely cool creature. I really am interested in knowing more about it. I know. Uh -huh. I want to know everything about it now, too. <laughs> I kind of want it as a pet. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of cute. And it it's is. pretty, it's dude. Yeah. Incredible. It's got like lion something. Yeah. yeah. Ones. Whoa. Whoa. It kind of reminds me of those like Mickey Mouse cartoons from yeah. way long ago where they had the steam engine. <laughs> yeah, exactly what I was thinking. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> 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 it's totally. <laughs> Very interesting. Well, we could watch this for hours, I would imagine, but we probably have to keep going. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, unfortunately. We'll call for another wolf. Everybody <laughs> <laughs> sounds so sad. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, look at all that. Look at all that oh. tether going on there. Whoa! This is Nav. Another move, sir. Step, please. No. What is it doing? <gasps> Anchored oh itself. Yeah, Lift it off. Kind of. Weird. Wow. I wonder if those are eggs or what. It's getting okay. bigger. I was asking Asako about it. She says these filaments. Oh, it's all blowing out. Is it the, to the bottom? Sorry, okay. sorry. And it's a kind of hydrozoa. W what about the All filaments? Right. It, uh, well, oh, just right, like please. we're seeing, it helps anchor it to the bottom. Okay. 
That's very unique. So, so rather than releasing them, it's kind of reeling itself in and out on them? That's what it looks like. I'm trying to get a little more info on that. I think you still want to know that I'm more reading the <laughs> same thing, Justin. Track here. I don't yeah. want to go. <laughs> <laughs> I think that broke my brain a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> it's not something I would have imagined. That is so cool. Yeah. That is neat. Yeah, that that's is awesome. A, that is There's really not that much known about these, y'all. But we just saw it do something really weird. So that was that's, that's some neat incredible. Since that was one of the coolest things I've ever what's, seen. What's nice the, camera um, work. What's the name yeah. of it again? The common name is sea dandelion, but it, it's a no. kind of siphonophore. What, what's like the not common name? Siphonophore. Oh. But then how do Rodality. I not get every... Oh, thank you. Yeah, it looks like... Uh, oh, so it is related to the Man of War. Huh. Yeah. Huh. Wild. Looks <laughs> like cool. NOAA, through the National Marine Sanctuary's webpage, has a short video of it as well from American Samoa. Yeah. yeah would you introduce but the iris a little bit Morphologically, there, I'm not finding anything more detailed than what we already described about siphonophores. Huh. So yeah, but the the petals that we were seeing on top, those are that's the necto nectophore, and that's the those are the colonial members that are in charge of the jet propulsion. <laughs> and then I guess the stringy bits that we were seeing hanging down are similar to what you see in the man of war or in other siphonophores um, that are responsible for feeding. And then there are others that are in charge of reproduction. Wow. This is also crazy. Yeah. All right, got a bunch of questions that I've been holding off on. Uh, one is, how do you know if the loop on the uh, Niskin bottle has been pulled far enough? We have a camera that is pointed on our port rail side, uh, which shows all of our Niskin bottles, which are the contraption used to take the water sample and um, if when we pull the latch, they we can see it visually close. Another dike running through these rocks. So distinctive here. Yeah. Yeah. Rennie's not allowed to apologize. <laughs> <laughs> he gets a cookie. <laughs> <laughs> yes. We all get a cookie at three o'clock. <laughs> They were good today. They were, they were so good. I was dreaming about those cookies, and then I came <laughs> out, and they were there. The portion is out of control, amazing. though. <laughs> they looks good. What all was in them? Yeah, those are Macadamia like and chocolate chip and oh. coconut. Nice. I could have done without the coconut. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of dried coconut, Ooh. but um, oh, it was just a macadamia and chocolate edition. is good. Which one flies? is that one? See how far up we are here. These are so big. Yeah. Got another question. Uh, what would a person have to study to work on the Nautilus? All kinds of things. Yeah, that's a yeah. wide open, wide open <laughs> options there. <laughs> it's very wide range. Go ahead and push on in there, partial. What role you play? That's great there. We have geologists and biologists. We have engineers and IT people. Data science, na uh, mm -hmm. navigators, navigators, deep sea mappers, people who, who do remote sensing. You don't have to necessarily have studied deep sea mapping, but some kind of remote sensing is useful. Yep, multiple different kinds of engineers, uh, uh, deck hands, so ship's crew, mm -hmm. officers. Yeah. Can partial white. It's like That's bridge great. officers. Yeah. There are some try on internships that are available. Um, if you go to the Nautilus Live webpage and go, <coughs> go to, I believe it's under the education tab, isn't it? Another move. Sure. Shall we go yep. in 50 meters or? Yeah, it's looking pretty flat, huh? Yes. Yeah, that looks yeah. good. And uh, they actually, uh, we see folks there? actually just Pretty This is not. What's the red on that branch? 330, 50 meters. Mm. Maybe an enemy. I was hoping it was a dandelion. <laughs> <laughs> um, there's relatively recently released um, nice kind of career shorts and videos on the Nautilus Live page now. I really, those were a great addition. 
Yeah. Some good advice that Kylie gave the other day too is to to this question is to go on the website and look at the bios of all the people um, and see because uh, it's a variety of backgrounds uh, that's pretty wide and you can see which path and which it. people seem to to be most relatable to you and maybe look to that for some guidance as well. Mm -hmm. There are many winding paths that can take you here. Totally. For sure. And all of it adds value. So you, you know, you can have a totally unique path and find yourself applying what you've learned elsewhere here. So another question. Uh, a lot of the organisms that are down here, fish in particular, uh, have eyes. And do we know which parts of the electromagnetic, electromagnetic spectrum uh, their eyes are attuned to seeing? No. I have no idea. No idea. Where are you going? I'm going back down the hill. I'm an invertebrate person. <laughs> Yeah, it looks like a pretty narrow saddle, uh, saddle point here. Yeah, yeah. sure, if you want to. Because I'm, well, I'm facing almost completely the opposite direction. So yeah. Sort of looking off to the side here and on high pack. The lone bamboo whip. Mm -hmm. Actually, it looks like there's a lot more lower stuff. So I need myself for situated. really hard to pick a favorite dive out of this. They've all been so different. <laughs> yeah. This one's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> this is incredible. <laughs> Those, these rocks, are, I mean, the ones we were seeing before. This is cool too, but. I think this might be my favorite dive. I think this is my favorite dive so far, this cruise. Yeah. yeah. It's pretty cool. Good morning to my eighth grade advisory. <laughs> Hello. How you doing, everybody? <laughs> Hello, Christopher's students. <laughs> Probably shouldn't call him Christopher. <laughs> Mr. <laughs> Klaus. Mr. Klaus. Mr. Klaus. Mr. Klaus. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to find this quiz that I took once, but I took recently, Megan actually showed it to me. I took this quiz and it tells you which deep sea animal you are. Ooh. Oh, actually I think it's affiliated with the with the Mizabot. It tells you which midwater animal you are. <laughs> um, so it's on Hui somewhere. And oh. I got siphonophore, so I'm feeling just so connected to this sea <laughs> animal. I am not over it. I want to say that that's my spirit animal. <laughs> we had the just same visual reference for the way the those I didn't even know what to call them. Those things, the spouts were spouting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Just hanging out, making filaments, impressing people. <laughs> Just another Wednesday or whatever day it is. Here. <laughs> <laughs> it is Wednesday now. It's Wednesday. It, yeah. Hmm. Wednesday or some Wednesday approximation. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not keeping track Every right now. Every day is Tuesday on a ship. <laughs> <laughs> Today, oh, is not Tuesday. It's a report day. Uh, then it's a Friday. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> This area looks a little knocked about. It does look this whole area, down. this whole place is knocked about. I swear. Yeah. It's it's such a dynamic landscape. Oh, this is t uh, kind of a random thought, but when you're mentioning Hui, um, they have been uh, leading this really cool online um, opportunity virtual learning called Noah Live for Kids. So if you have youngins who you think would enjoy learning about all this stuff. There's all kinds